on now. <laughs> it's okay. We can edit this bit out on the main thing. Edit this bit right? out. It's fine. <laughs> can you uh, turn why that off? is yours being weird? Like, yeah, it's just dropping really low. But Sorry. It wasn't yeah, you're time. right. You're right. It's still on. Apologies. That's okay. <laughs> it's not always like this, but you know, we're all we're all yes, good. Yes, it is. It's always like this. <laughs> right, okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start the show now. Uh, <laughs> what a start. Hello and welcome to the Computer Game Show. My name's David Turner. I'm here with Sean Bell. Hello. James Farley. Hello. Matty No Show is not here again. He wasn't here for the, the Patreon stuff. He's not He's here been tonight on either. He's been on holiday and I'm pretty sure he said he is actually back today, but he just couldn't be, just just be asked, tired, could he? Just too tired, but it's all right. Yeah. It's okay because we've got a very good replacement in uh, Ellie Gibson. Thank you Hello. so much for being here. Thank you. I think I'm more excited than all of you put together. I'm very excited <laughs> to be here. Thank you for having me. We're, we're a bit jaded at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an absolute honour. It's, it's brilliant. It's brilliant to have you on. Um, do you want to? Do you want to introduce yourself? Is that the right thing to do? I never know what the etiquette is to do at the start of a podcast. When well, because some people there. hate being introduced, don't they? Whereas, oh, whereas some people will be like, I what, I've got to do I myself? Fucking hell. Yeah, 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 no, exactly. I demand it. I said, well, well, I, I always say to yeah. guests but on our podcast, why don't you introduce yourself? Because I can't always be bothered to reception <laughs> properly and write an intro. So, and, and then they'd say it and you go, oh, right, yeah. So uh, I'm happy to do that if, that, if that's helpful, yeah. Uh, Let's so, do yeah. that. Uh, so hello, I'm Ellie Gibson and uh, I've been a games journalist for oh, thousands of years now. I used to work for Eurogamer. Uh, and then I was on a telly show called Dar O'Brien's Go 8-Bit. And then I became a comedy double act member. <laughs> a comedian is the short way, is the better way of saying that. Uh, I'm a comedian. I'm in a double act with called Scummy Mummies, with a woman called Helen. And, uh, and I do Twitch. I do streaming uh, a couple of nights a week when I'm not at work. So, yeah, that's about it, really. I think. How, are you finding, how are you finding the, the streaming? Are you, uh, you getting into it? Like, who's... Didn't you do that after um, Lee? Well, I mean, you've always done stuff with Eurogamer, right? But this is you going out on your own uh, with your with your Twitch channel. Yeah, I, I started in January. Yeah, because I left Eurogamer, oh gosh, like over 10 years ago now, actually. But um, I wow. I started on, um, uh, yeah, I started on uh, Twitch in January 2021, I think. Um, right. And I still don't really understand it. And I don't really know where anyone comes and watches it, but we have a marvellous time. <laughs> so <laughs> I really like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I am a, obviously a Guinness World Record holder three times a day. I don't normally like to talk oh, about it. I didn't mention that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I've got to say that in my own intro. But yeah. So, yeah. Uh, can I ask, do you have to call it Dar O'Brien's Go 8 Bit? Is that a contractual thing or is that just you being <laughs> polite? That... Sometimes I call it Ellie Gibson's Go 8 Bit and yeah, he hasn't say, sued I me mean, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It wasn't his though, was it? Am I, am I going to cause a, a? It wasn't his. He stole it off of. Uh, you didn't steal it. Doing it live. The original creators it. were, in, were involved. Why are you always protecting Daro Brown? Every <laughs> week you're trying to protect him, Sean. I'm sick of it. You're quite right. He's a home. dreadful man. He doesn't deserve your sympathy or your protection. <laughs> He's absolutely awful. Um, uh, no, in his defence, it was it was just called Go Go Eight Bit, and then when they made it into a telly show, they insisted on putting his name right. uh, in front of it. Because obviously famous people, people like famous people, apparently. It's like um, um, Bush, the band. If we talked about this on the show, I think I might have brought this up before. What's that? Well, the band were called Bush for years, like decades. And then Gavin no, Rossdale, who's a singer, was he's a judge on X Factor or something, one of those, the voice, oh, right, right. and na- And now they're Bush with Gavin Rossdale. That's the name <laughs> of the band now. Like, <laughs> See, Mate, this is why, for our show, I wanted it to be, you know, David Turner's presents the computer game show. <laughs> like that, it, would have been... it would have been a better idea, James. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't hear me, uh, uh, you wouldn't hear, hear me protesting about that. Um, but my my favourite thing you've done recently was your twenty four hour power wash sim. Oh, and, uh, our listeners don't. <laughs> There's our the proof. Know, um, how much of a fan I am, and did you get in touch with the people that? worked on the game did they get in touch with you would i i got in touch with them and they were brilliant because i knew they they were based in brighton and actually rupert my old boss from eurogamer i was like oh don't all brighton games people know each other and he's like yeah we do (laughs) so i'm cool (laughs) so he put me in touch with them very kindly and they were so lovely and supportive and gave us loads of game codes for the stream and they even after the stream sent me a power wash simulator hat jumper and water bottle 
So awesome. I'm very, cool. very grateful. Oh, and they donated five grand or whatever to the charity, but that's oh. not. It wasn't really about charity. It was really about attention it, seeking. Yeah. Uh, so because <laughs> I've, I've, um, I might need to hit you up with some contacts because I've been trying and trying and trying since since I got obsessed with the game last year. <laughs> what, Sean? I've been trying what gonna say. to get Only Fools and Horses DLC for it. And they, <laughs> th- at first, I tweeted them a few times. I said, you know what would be really good DLC? Only Fools and Horses. Clean the van, clean the <laughs> flat, clean the bar where you could make the thing go up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and clean Grandad in his chair. Right? <laughs> that, that was the idea. And first they went, ha, 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 yeah. And then a couple of times, then it were reduced to them just liking when I tweeted them and then they just ignore me Sean they just yeah. ignore me have you um, been blocked David not I've not that. been blocked yet but I don't Politely think muted it's... I think <laughs> I think well, the thing is because when you when you first said it idea. when you first said it there was no DLC for the game and then it was like all right Tomb Raider and then we've had Final Fantasy we've had Spongebob yeah. Squarepants we've had well, that's Warhammer coming this week so I, I'm gonna do know. all that stuff I'm gonna do it all <laughs> yeah but we're missing only Fools that's what I'm saying it's like only Fools and Horses now now feels pretty Tame, if anything. Well, and also, if we're going to do, like, you know, I don't think, like, the kids are clamouring for some only Fools and Horses DLC. I don't you, really think... I, I mean, you'd be surprised. They if we're going to bring back shit old, old sitcoms for Power <laughs> Simulator, the obvious answer is on the buses. That's obviously... <laughs> on the buses. Just a whole garage full of filthy buses would be amazing. <laughs> yes. or, or the yard in Steptoe and Sun. Well, I'd rather clean that. Do, what, what, what if there was one pack of dlc where you had one level on only fools and horses on the buses you know um uh, dad's army uh keeping up appearances one yeah. foot in the grave we, we uh, they, they, i would uh, you i'd spend 20 quid on that easy easy well i'm sure easy then that's money. well worth their investment of months and months of work <laughs> staff hours this one guy for this 20, 20 quid, quid that you're going to give them david that's great <laughs> They'll be all over uh, that if shit. If they're listening, if they want that 30 quid, they better get, they better get started. <laughs> Sorry. So, so uh, you get it in that, and then it's the next stage that that stuff's got to get in Fortnite now. And then you'll be on to Epic. <laughs> what, so uh, Phil Wall in the chat. Is yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Wall in the chat <laughs> saying Starbuck from Red Dwarf. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, Wait. that's too niche. Cause that's no, it is actually You too. could do the entire Red Dwarf, and then it would be like the bit in the intro where he's like painting mm. the... That and it'd be true. really depressing because it'll take you gravity. years to do it. Yeah, okay. Right. We should start the show. Not not a Red Dwarf man, Dave, is that's what I'm Oh I love Red Dwarf. Okay. Just some people just, just shut up about it's it. It's not yeah, only yeah. fools and horses, is it, yeah. Sean? <laughs> um, I like to f- start the show by thanking our Patreon producers this month. They are uh, the QuickBooks Chap, Simon Nelson, Moomin Biscuit, Trans Rights of Human Rights, Dave Ernsberger, Colin Brown, Gasman, Rocketman seventy six, Grey Dragon Claw, Smooth Monkey, Colin Smith. Richard Sawyer, John Tempelli, Jackie Sniper, Gordon Garrow, Safe as Records, Sam Higton, Jonathan Edwards, Happy Birthday James S from Tom S, Fred Fenge, and Tom S. If you'd like to support the show, then please go to patreon.com forward slash TCGS, different tiers. We did a bonus podcast this week, didn't we, Sean? Did. Where I gave you all the dirty secrets and private information about Ian Lee's birthday party. We went into all that. <laughs> All the people I met there and all the stuff that happened, all the dirty celebrity gossip. I had to get to special permission to talk about I, it. Well, yeah, <laughs> I did have to get special permission, but I got it. You did. <laughs> and he texted so me fine. today saying, why did you ask for my permission after you spoke about it on the show? <laughs> and I said, it felt bad. Um, <laughs> uh, well, then we had a live stream where we, we played Street Fighter. And I don't mm. want to give anything away, but there was an unexpected champion, wasn't there? Sean. A bit harsh calling it unexpected isn't it no very no. unexpected right, so fine. if you want to see us if you want to play see us play uh, street fighter and all that patreon.com forward slash tcgs final bit of plugging before we move on to the show well i mean it says tickets on sale for tcgs uh con but by the time this goes out you've got two days to buy them and then that's it isn't it and to be honest if you haven't bought your tickets now i don't want you there I don't yep. want you there it's true we promised you a live show we promised you laser quest and mini golf, and you've left it this late. Forget it. I mean, you say you Forget say a live it. show. It's a quiz. It's a quiz. It, it's, a, it's a quiz <laughs> with no with no audience it's a live participation. Quiz. It's a, a live quiz. A live quiz. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't put yourself Duck down, quiz. Sean. I'm it's just a saying, live quiz. It's, it's going to be a different sort of vibe. But fun. you can still get tickets right up until the Saturday when we're actually doing it. 
tcgs.co forward slash tcgscon. Come to Sunderland and uh, and and let, let's let's shoot each other with lasers. Uh, right, that's it. Feedback from last week's show. Sean, did they all love it? They all loved it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, big bad Good. Gary Dooten, the UK's number one Gary, um, says in last week's <laughs> What Have You Been Playing section, James mentioned that he was considering playing Yakuza before deciding against it because he could just fire up a bit of Street Fighter VI. My advice, James, get out now. Get out. <laughs> Don't look back before you never play any other game ever again. And then he says, last week's episode was very good, by the way. Very professional. I enjoyed it. Nice one. Well, cheers, Gary. Uh, James, a bit of a warning there. You going to take it? No, I'm not because I'm enjoying it. And uh, it's good. Ooh, it's not the point. Right yeah. back at you there, Gary. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's, he's looked at your advice and he's batted it right back in your it's face. It's not mate. about whether or not you're enjoying it, James. People <laughs> enjoy, you know, class A drugs. <laughs> but they're still yes, dangerous they if you develop a habit. That's the, thing, that's yeah, the point Gary's yeah. making. So they say. Um, um, go on. James, so, uh, I mean, one thing that was clear out of our uh, Street Fighter session at the week, you put way more time into it than, than you let on, I think. You were going, yeah, you were going to Sean. Look at him. He's played it for six hours. Well, yeah. And do you, cause did you know that? Because he's been playing it on PS5, but then for the exactly. stream, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to use the Xbox. Exactly. I wonder why. I wonder why that is. Yeah. So, so we couldn't see Cheat, his real cheats. profile. I, know, you could, you could, I wasn't the one who was like making out I'd never played it. Like, I mean, Sean, Sean, the reason I, I went at you for I'd the six hours, it. you were like, I've barely played it. I bet six hours. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it wasn't six hours. <laughs> it was. It was four and a half on World Tour mode, which doesn't count. It doesn't even have most of the mechanics of this. Whatever. <laughs> that, but four hours, six hours, it's pathetic. Some of us play out games for 24 hours, six minutes, and 33 seconds. So. <laughs> yeah, come on, put the effort in, Sean. Um, uh, right, that's, that's a good game, that Street Fighter. Should we mm. move on? Mark Phillips. <laughs> says, did I dream it, or did David Earl and Joe Wilkinson from the Chatterbix podcast mention David Turner's in one of their podcasts this week? It was totally yeah. surreal. Keep up the great work, lads and lasses. Yeah, that was a, the, yeah, that was a, that was an unfortunate incident. Um, uh, one that I don't really want to talk about too much, but it's a <laughs> okay. It's a really good podcast. Okay. <laughs> and it expects more mentions of me in a bad way in the coming <laughs> episodes. Have you upset them? I've fucked up. They okay. do this thing where they do they surprise each other with um, oh this where thing jo- this still goes, going well no because this right so that happened weeks ago but they've only yeah. started putting them out to the public right. <laughs> the public the they're public. non-patron people yeah, yeah, and yeah. I sort of just went into his Twitch chat and said oh I've heard this thing's going on what's all that about and he said uh, <laughs> and yeah I was um, uh, I I'd completely ruined a surprise that Joe had been working on for for, for several months so that um, nice. that yeah. Yeah, it was a whole episode about how um, Joe Wilkinson wanted to call me a twat. So, <laughs> so nice. that, that, that was nice to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was my that was my week. As if cool. I didn't hate myself enough, uh, that was amplified on a big scale. Uh, next bit of feedback, Sean. <laughs> Sean Thomas says, Hi, TCGS.consumer feedback. As an avid listener and supporter of the pod, I've realised over the years that James's taste most closely aligns with mine, so I've been very excited to tune in this year and see what he thinks of various new releases, as I'm loving 2023 for games. Knowing he's a huge Metroid Prime fan, I thought, I bet he's going to have some thoughts here on the remaster, but it felt like he barely got a word in whilst others gave their view. I thought, to be fair, I know, I, I know he'll love it, so it's good to hear what newcomers think, and I didn't think much more of it. When Advance Wars came out, I tuned in again as I'd been on the fence about buying it. Sadly, as the pod was running long, he only got a few minutes on it and the subject (laughs) was never returned to. Oh well, I thought, maybe he'll return to it one day. Hi-Fi Rush was another game I was incredibly (laughs) incredibly excited to hear his views on. Tuning into the chat, it was clear he must have adored it as he'd beaten it, but the rest of the crew were only on the first level. Surely I'll get to hear his views on it. Sadly, not really. The chat focused on the pros and cons of the tutorial, whilst the person who <laughs> loved it so much that they blitzed it in a week barely talked. <laughs> the final straw, and why I'm writing this needlessly petty post, was this week when I tuned in to hear some Zelda chat. James had not been on the show for a week or two, so I'm very curious what he thinks. As he goes to open his mouth, Dave says, We talked about this far too much, we have to move on. <laughs> Most of my favourite bits of the show are when James is being griefed or getting annoyed. So perhaps it was just to wind him up or genuine attempts to keep the pace of the show up. But an excited, happy and enthusiastic James is a real wonderful sight. Like spotting a stag beetle briefly emerging. You know it doesn't happen very often, so you've got to enjoy it. Basically, just saying it'd be nice to hear from him a bit more often in this rarest of times when he's loving a few games, you know? (laughs) James, I mean, speak up, mate. 
I mean, the reason no, the reason for that is is that I'm almost always last in the list, almost every single time, and then it gets. Oh, the... But that's been proven wrong. Last no, it time. has not be been proven silly. wrong. It's never been proven. Well, wrong. You've just said it's wrong, and it's not. <laughs> but last week you hadn't played any more Zelda, had you? No, I had a, a little bit. Yeah, okay. not very much. <laughs> and what, is there anything you want to tell Sean Thomas about? Yeah, yeah. yeah you, here's your chance to tell Sean Thomas what you think of Zelda. It's all right, isn't it? Okay, next yeah. bit of feedback. Okay, <laughs> um, last bit of feedback comes from Major PDD. Uh, it says, guys, unfortunately, due to life wonders, I'm not going to make it to TCGS Con North North. What? I know what Dave is thinking, and he'll know. <laughs> no wonder not Ban hold back. Major PD from <laughs> call me Wait, out. Wait, hold on. This is Major PD. PDD that yeah. me messaged us once a week for about eight months asking yeah. when the next TCGS con was. Yeah, well, they go on to say, yeah, it'll, it'll call me out for all the times I've posted on Twitter or Twitch asking when it'll be. Uh, but I just cannot make it, even though I have two tickets. Unbelievable. 2023 has just been a bit of an emotional roller coaster. My amazing wife is on the verge of completing her teacher training after going back to university four years ago, and I'm so proud of her. My son has just smashed his first year at college in computer games design, and my daughter, even with all the side eyes she gives me, is still amazing and has just chosen her options. She's going to be an artist, I think. All this mixed in with losing a very close friend at the beginning of the year, as well as losing my wonderful, always smiling grand-in-law, and then being told that another friend of mine has cancer and has been given six weeks to live. Hurts so now much. I feel bad. Now I feel bad. Yeah, Major I was trying, to, I was trying to sort of rush I, through was, the first bit. I was bit. trying to be light-hearted, little bit of back and forth, and now I feel bad. Now so. look what's happened. That's backfired, isn't it? Uh, it says <laughs> that's no incredibly advice. awkward, can I just say, as <laughs> someone watching yeah. it. That's <laughs> really <laughs> appalling. Yeah. Like, yeah. yep. you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he says, my advice is to take as many pictures as you can. These are the mo uh, memories that keep it real. It's way too easy to forget things with everything else life throws at you, so cherish the time we have on this rock. Keep up the amazing shows, guys. Somehow you keep me wishing for more, even though you give way too much already. Love you all. James a little more, maybe. Only kidding. All equally. Aww. <laughs> I like yeah, um, I, yeah, I got it. You can't make it, obviously, but totally understand, um, given the circumstances. That's yeah, that is that is incredibly um, difficult. Yeah, I, hope I you always get, I hope you get the, through this stuff quickly, man. The photography thing, I, I, Go on. you know, for years everyone's like, Ugh, everyone's always taking pictures on the phone, like be in the moment. <laughs> My right. memory is terrible. <laughs> Right. So I and I've sort of come to terms with that. It's like no, I need to photograph things all the time, or that it's gone. So right. I'm with but, major. But PDD I'm trying to get one. better at you know when you're taking photos of say your kids or whatever you yeah. or whatever yeah, but yeah. you're taking photos, mm -hmm. but you take about fourteen in a row yeah. because yeah. you're like, well, one of these would be okay, <laughs> and then you don't delete the other thirteen. You no. never delete the other thirteen. Yeah, yeah. So then when you're going through your phone, you're going, yeah, no, there's the same kid on the rock smiling, and then he's sort of like. Looking a little bit more bored as I flip <laughs> through them, you know. Um, so that's that's the problem. Or well, the worst um, part is when you're looking, yeah, you're looking across, like say, sort of 10, 15 different photographs, and like, ah, oh, if there's, there's like elements of each of these, if I could stitch them all together into one perfect but not real memory, that would be brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, well, as, as I said, like the, the, the one thing I would always say about photos. <laughs> I guess that's a weird thing to have an opinion on. Um, but it's like, you know, this is going in the quote book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the quote book I'm releasing at the end of the year. I've, I've, I've often wondered what you think about photographs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we're finally getting an answer. I'll sleep tonight. I will sleep tonight. <laughs> if you subscribe to my blog, you would have already know this. Um, <laughs> you, just, just print them off. Joe gets like picture mm. books all the time. It's so good. I don't understand how you could just like keep them on your phone all the time. We've got like, these, uh, we've got too many of them, really, but loads of picture books, and they're just wicked to go through. It's, it's, um, yeah, I love that stuff, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. What but then when are. they get older, you give less of a shit, don't you? Anyway, I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah, we had we had a confession at our show, our Scummy Mummy show last week from an audience member, where she said one of her kids had asked for a baby picture of herself. She had to take a baby picture into school, and it was really late, and the mum was really tired. Uh, and she couldn't be bothered. She couldn't find one. She couldn't be bothered to get it out. So we just gave her. She gave her a picture of her sister and told her it was her. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, I don't know. I was going to Google baby. <laughs> 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 we also had a woman once who was like, "I've got identical twins," and when they asked me which ones which in baby pictures, I've got no idea. So I just make it up. I just have a guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> there are. There, I mean, I am getting to that stage now where I look at because we got two boys, and you, when you're looking at old photos of the, you know, when they're babies and that, there are times where I have to go to Joe, and which one is this? <laughs> it sort of puts me right, but um, yeah, it's nuts. Uh, anyway, that's photo chat done for this mm. week. Um, uh, anything else? Uh, sure, are we done? Night. Good. Mm. Well, thanks for that. That was a delightful segment. Um, thanks, James, mate. let's do the news. All right. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is just full of, I love it. It's just full of energy. It's like right, the what? opposite of that American one with those American boys who just shout at each other all the time. I love what, it. It's what so I love English. About that, all right, fine. Ellie, is that every week James has a go at us because we laugh at whatever he does to introduce the news. <laughs> he always makes us laugh and he thinks it's us winding him up. But the fact that you've joined in I'm no Thank listen you. i listened to last week's podcast and you're all kicking the shit out of poor jeff Keeley, who's done nothing to you what has that man ever done to you he's, he's just trying to the limelight hey he's trying to just trying to bring energy and excitement to the world of video he's, gaming he's just and trying to entertain he's, he's to just, exactly he's just an artist he's just trying to share his work with the world and you're sitting here taking the piss out of him and then beginning news items by going all right what, what's the man supposed to do do you remember when james do you remember when james went through a phase of saying here is the news at the start yeah, of the good. news, but we couldn't do it because it made us laugh too hard <laughs> every single time. The one time he tried to put some effort into something, we got he got ridiculed. So this is what we're left yeah. with. I right. think you need a jingle, James. I think you need a little song that you we sing. We did him a jingle, and, yeah, oh. and everyone had a go at us because it was. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what was the jingle? Do you remember the, the, the buzz jingle? with James Farling? <laughs> 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 I do remember that. I don't remember this one. That was some of my finest work, and everyone was like, oh, what was that weird sample you put in the show? (laughs) (laughs) Right. Cheers. (laughs) James, come on. What's happened in the world of video games, mate? So Nintendo had a Direct uh, this week, which seems to... I mean, it's had mixed response, I would say. I mean, from online, you know, some people seem to really love it. Other people seem not very interested, but... I mean, I've got the list here uh, that we can go through. I mean, I'm not going to go through every single one because obviously they're not probably very interesting to everybody. But was there anything in particular? What? Why are you speaking like a school teacher? Because <laughs> you've made I'm me self-conscious, behavior, David. That's you've why. You've got a guest. He's be, trying to be good. You've right, made okay, me self-conscious and now I feel uncomfortable. Anyway. Oh, shut up. Go on. <laughs> so, okay. So, David, what, what was there anything on this list that pops out for you? In, uh... In... Apart from, well, we saw a little bit more Sonic Superstars, and that looks all right. I'm no, it doesn't. Worried about it? You don't, you don't think it looks good? Well, it's made by the same people as Battle and Wonder World, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a worry. Right, so. No, but they haven't got they haven't got the tension of Yuji Naka walking around the place trying to con people like that. They haven't got all that going on in the background. So we we you know maybe they they'll do a good job. You never know, James. You never know. Um, I like the look of the, the Pikmin stuff. Look fine. I don't think I'm really into playing a, a new uh, Pikmin. And you're game, not. I'm quite honestly. excited. I know. You, yeah. You, were you excited about the the re-release of one and two? I I thought that was weird. I don't know because the one I played the least of was three. So when they said, oh, when they were like, oh yeah, HD re-releases, I was like, cool. You're doing Pikmin. Oh no, you're not doing Pikmin three. Okay. Uh, I've got a feeling Pikmin three is very similar to Pikmin. Pikmin probably. I mean, that was. Yeah. A, Pikmin 3 was a Wii U game, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, but it came, it came out on Switch as well. Oh, did it? Did it? Yeah. Oh, did it really? Oh, oh of course it did. Right, well, that would be why they're not doing an HD remake of it. <laughs> yeah. um, it was very good. I enjoyed that. it. it Mystery good. solved. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, you, Pikmin 4 looks good. There's a dog in it. Did you make it? Are you a Pikmin fan, Ellie? Is something uh, uh, no, Ellie? fuck Pikmin. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a better game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do like if it's got a dog in it though. That's piqued my interest because there's a general rule. I find video games with dogs in are immediately fifteen percent better, at right. least. What it was that one where you got to be the dog from like twenty years ago? Do you remember? A dog's that? Life. No, it was like a police game, but you Ooh. had a dog. You were a policeman with a dog, and I'm pretty sure you got to be the dog, and then the dog, you could like sick sick balls as the dog. I think. <laughs> But not, this um, game exists. There was a, there was a, there was, uh, 
There was one called, was it Shadow Dancer? But you were a ninja, you weren't a cop. You were a ninja and you had a dog and you could... Yeah, that was Shadow Dancer. Yeah, yeah. It was dog. like an Alsatian. I didn't, I don't, I'm sure I used to write news stories about it because I was obsessed with it. <laughs> dog um, game. We've got, I mean, we've not got any, uh, any suggestions in the chat, I'm afraid. I think, I'm worried that you might have dreamt this. No, someone and said then, it was a PS2 game. See, that's proof. Oh, that is proof it Desmond existed. Dead, dead to rights, is that it? Dead, dead to, to rights. rights! Dead to rights! That's the way. Wow, you <laughs> found it. Thank you. I apologise for ever doubting you. <laughs> dead to rights. I've never even heard of this. You played this, Sean? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> right, that's okay, right. Your, your next stream. That. And, a neo-noir um, video game series focusing on Jack Slate, a police officer in the fictional <laughs> Grant City, and his canine partner, Shadow. Yes, it's all coming back to me. Slate and Shadow on the... Uh... <laughs> oh, bloody brilliant. Crew. And there was Dead to Rights in 2002, and in 2010 there was Dead to Rights Retribution. Oh, my God. <laughs> Years in the making. Absolutely uh, brilliant. Like, 73 on Metacritic, that's not too bad. Well done yeah, to, to yeah. the Dead to Rights team if you're listening. Um, big, big I'm going to stream it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like Vampire Survivors was cool because just because we heard the music again and everything, yeah, that reminded yeah. me of that dark place that I went to with that game. <laughs> playing that forever. Um, there was everyone thought because they announced that it's getting four player co op, and everyone's like, Oh, is that exclusive to the Switch? No, well, certainly not. No, why no. would it be? Oh, it's going on everything. Oh, that's good because yeah. yeah, the boys want to play that, so we'll, mm. we'll, we'll smash through some Vampire Survivors. Yep. I really like the look of the new Mario Kart 8 track, it's in a bog. You can literally drive um. Wario into a shitter. <laughs> that is, I'm, I, I'm all about that. Did you, yeah. did you not watch that? You watched that, yeah, 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 I watched it, yeah. You, no, look good. Am I the only one excited about there being a toilet in Mario Kart? Like, I, I don't know. I, just, I feel like all the new Mario Kart tracks have just done nothing for me. Right. Okay. It's because they, they've are released you, them. You're above the toilet thing, are you? Is the release has been too now? slow. Definitely yeah, not above the toilet thing with this. It would have been good if they'd have just gone, here's everything, you know, and it's this amount. But mm. I don't know. Everyone's got a road map. You need a road map now. If you <laughs> haven't got a road map, it, it doesn't exist anymore. That's the problem. Um, We've got a road map for this show. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. We just yeah. don't release it to the general public. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's very, yeah. against it. It's, it's um, very, very what else was good? New Detective Pikachu. I never played the last one, um, but I thought oh, it was, was this cool. a new one? It's a new one, and it's right, okay. fully it's a voiced. Sequel. Yeah, it's a sequel, and it's fully voiced, which I thought was cool, because obviously I'd really like to play this with Isaac, but he still can't read because he's a small child, um, oh. which is fair enough. So, yeah, this might be really fun to play through with him. Um, I, I just it's one of those games that you look at and you go where did they come up with a concept for this it's Pikachu everyone loves Pikachu but he speaks like this and he's talking about <laughs> like uh, uh, murders and stuff like that's that's wild Who yeah but it's not that? it's not you say murder it's not <laughs> Columbo <laughs> Oh, is it not? Because that's what's in my head. It's not like, it's not like, like, it's not like serial killer. Sort of no, I was going to say, it's not Pikachu it. finds a dead woman in a ditch. Like, that would <laughs> yeah, be a yeah, whole yeah. other you thing. Play it. We'd all play it, if that's what it was, right? I would play what's, that, what, yeah. What is he detecting? I can't remember. It's Pokemon-related crimes. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, I, don't what? Know. <laughs> so, you know, I would play Pokemon Special Victims Unit, but until that comes out, I'm not really interested in it. It's just like the bit. Whatever Mr. Mime's been up to. Yeah, that's yeah, like the bits in L.A. Noire where you have to like inspect the bodies and stuff. But it's, yeah. Yeah, but it's like a Mr. Mime with grievous wounds. And... <laughs> Lifted up one of the rocket teams. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'd play that. But sure, yeah, it's, isn't it weird? Like, yeah, we, we just accepted Detective Pikachu as a concept. Yeah, there's a game and a film of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the film's the other thing as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's like yeah. who just went? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go for that. That's, yeah, that's Pikachu. Apparently, is a detective it's good. I've not now. seen it, but apparently, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's not good. bad. Um, it's good. But yeah, obviously, they left the big hitters to the to the end. Um, mm. Talking about Batman Arkham trilogy. Arkham trilogy. <laughs> Look, that was good weird. games. <laughs> well, good they're all good mean, games. <clears throat> yeah, like re-releases like that are strict because like there was that and there was Metal Gear Solid um, yeah. went out on the Switch. Which, you know, I, I always bang on about preservation and stuff. Obviously, things getting ported to new hardware is, is good. Um, but then also, as part of a presentation like this, you're like, yeah, all right. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's like James, James and I were saying when we were watching it, it feels like the end of a, a generation Nintendo Direct. You, mm. We've seen these before, I mean, James, where it feels like they're trying to fill stuff. 
with either re-releases or stuff at the end of the. There's a lot of re-releases, wasn't there? A lot of re-releases. This, yeah. At least, ports. at least this is not gone in the direction at the end of the Wii U generation did because well, that was where incredible. They just turn up <laughs> in front of the white screen and went, yeah. "Oh, coming up next!" And there's just a guy in a suit going, "Well, we haven't really got anything." So <laughs> <laughs> there was that I whole. Mean, do you remember that one? Stay. Do you remember that one where it was for like Woolies, like was it was it Yoshi's Woolly World or whatever that was like about yeah. half an hour long, where they were just talking about crochet knitting for like <laughs> large proportion <laughs> of the thing because there was really nothing else, and it was. Uh, yeah. uh, it was the happiest thing of the time. It was, but then, but imagine what it was like to be a journalist then, because you'd be like, brilliant, I've been flown to like Japan or America to write about this thing, and it's just a, it's just a woman in a pantsuit going, oh, hi. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't Matthew Castle that said that. Uh, or was it? It might have been Joe, actually. It might have been Scrabbles. Said that when when he started working at Official Nintendo magazine, it was just when the Wii U come out. And then when he moved over to the Xbox Official magazine, it was just when the Xbox One come out. <laughs> 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 um, uh, yeah, so it feels like end of the era stuff. But but mm. the end. I I thought right. So they showed. I didn't watch because I was listening to it. And then when I got home, I, I watched the bits that, that I wanted to watch. A WarioWare move it looked way better than uh, I thought it was going to be. That yeah. looks like it'll be a lot of good fun. So, so that's mm. out this year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that looked good. I like that one. I like the look of the the, the over overcars, whatever it is, the, the 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 overcooked one that's about cars. Oh, the mechanic, hey. manic, oh. manic mechanics, manic mechanics. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks See, good. I've played a few of those though. So we've we've had overcooked, which was probably the best one, right? And then, mm. did you ever play Moving Out? Yeah, yeah. That was it's... well underrated, that. That was really yeah. good fun. My yeah. son and I nearly stabbed each other to death, but we <laughs> we did enjoy what, it briefly. What, 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 <laughs> what, while you were playing the game, or was that? Yeah, like, trying yeah. to get a sofa through a doorway and going, no, yeah. left, left to me, to pivot, 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 yeah. pivot. It was, I remember it quite stressful. I think I streamed it. It was incredibly stressful because he was being very disrespectful to his mother on the internet from memory. Uh, uh, the worst thing difficult. we had was trying to get it all on the van because my kids would just chuck it on there. And you go, no, if you put it in the corner, there's more space for everything else, boys. Now, we're going to do, we're going to start again. We're going to do this properly. Uh, we're going to have um, fun, but we're going to do it right. right? Oh, I bet you're <laughs> loads of fun when there's a dishwasher to be stacked. I bet you're an absolute joy to be in a kitchen with. I'm the worst. Um, uh, so we had WarioWare, which looked great. But mm. then, obviously, the big reveal was right at the end. Now... Super Mario Bros. Wonder, mm-hmm. I thought looked great, mm-hmm. and I was excited, and I showed Harry when we got home, and he almost burst into tears, yeah. and I said, what's the matter? And he went, we've waited six years, and this is all we get, <laughs> right? And, and I was like, right, that's not the reaction I thought I was going to get. <laughs> and it turns out that he just really wanted um, Mario Odyssey 2, so now yeah. he's starting to warm to it, but... Mm-hmm. James, do you want to explain what Super Mario Bros. Wonder is? Because Wonder, 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 Wonder. Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, it's a. It looks like another new Super Mario Brothers game, like to me. But with um, you know, with sort of with slightly different art style, but then also like weird effects and everything. It seems and. Well, it's more than weird effects. To be fair, like. It was got, like filters, <laughs> Instagram filters. Instagram filters. Like, no, it was, it was like clearly affecting the gameplay. It was mm-hmm. reminiscent of um, the bit in Yoshi's Island where you eat the the fuzzy lads, and Yoshi clearly gets off his tits. I don't really know how they allowed that in a children's game, but whatever. Um, yeah, it looked like that. It was like it was like, clearly like actually messing with the you know the the substance of the levels. It wasn't just oh, it looks different. It reminded me of like a natural progression from. Do you remember Mario, Mario Maker Two, where everything just went wild and people yes. were obsessed with making really crazy shit in that mm-hmm. game? It looked like they saw that and went, "What if we built a whole game around that?" And um, Elephant Mario, I'm all up for Elephant Mario. Elephant Mario. I mean, yeah. I will not stop until we get a Giraffe Mario. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> That Surely, Del Mario. Boy Mario is the real one. Del Boy Mario, we're, we've been falling through the bar. Forget about it. You know, I might as well just leave this planet the moment I've played that because I will never. That is peak. <laughs> that is peak life for me. Um, but yeah, no, I think it looks great. If the animation's as good as it looks in, like, you know, when it was zooming into the characters and they were tra- they were doing, there's just some really cool animation going on mm. there. If they nail that, it could look really, really good. I don't know where I sit with the talking wise cracking flowers though. I don't know. I was I was a bit like, oh, I don't. I don't really remember those. I think I need to watch this again. 
right at the start. They're like, hey, what's going on? I was like, okay, all right, we're doing that in Mario now, are we? But, um, <laughs> but we'll see. see I mean, Ash, I mean, Ash had, a, had a similar reaction to Harry with it. I mean, not like really? to that extent, but in the sense of like, you know, he said, oh, there's a new Mario game coming out. It's a 2D one again. And he, he was, <laughs> he's a, like father, like son. Yeah. That's how you, that's how you present it on the podcast. <laughs> See, it's funny because I, I always wonder if, if kids have that sort of like, oh, well, two D's old and three D's new. Because I feel like any kid now who grows up with Mario now has kind of got an assault of three D and two D stuff sort of simultaneously. So do they have, do they still have that perception that two D is old? You know what I mean? But it sounds like they I do. don't think so. But it is the case of like you know. Odyssey was so sort of expansive and the levels yeah. were so, you know, there was so much exploration involved in that that you don't, I mean, you get that in the 2D ones as well, but not to the same, in the same, you know, with the same sort of mechanics. Yeah. And that's that's what, you know, Asher wants a lot. He wants that back again. And uh, yeah, he still also, talks about that all the time. the kids love that cuphead, don't they, eh? Yeah. They love that cuphead. They did. Yeah. They love, they're all over that. That was 2D and it looked old, Sean. So it's true. On that's purpose. That's theory out the window, isn't it? Unbelievable. I don't um, know a new a new Mario game that we didn't know was coming coming at, uh, in October. That's pretty exciting to me. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. So uh, I will play that game. I mean, there's also the remake of Super Mario RPG as well. I which... was going to say that's pretty big because that was a sub- is like substantial remake as well. That is yeah. clearly yeah yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, like I know you don't care about it, Dave, but it is like for, for a lot of people, you know, that never really never played the Super NES version. It's you know it's pretty exciting to get the yeah, yeah. get a chance to play it. And they've, they're also doing the uh, the remake of the uh, second Luigi's Mansion game, which yes. remake is a stretch. Did you see that? Go and watch the trailer again. It's outrageous. They don't. <laughs> it looks like they've done nothing to it. <clears throat> I looked at it and I thought, this looks dreadful. Because Luigi's Mansion 3 looked incredible, right? Mm. Yeah. And they've not touched this. So, I don't know. It depends how much they're asking for that. See? Mm. My money's I mean, it's Nintendo, else. so it's going to be 60 quid, right? <laughs> yeah, yep, so. yeah, you know. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe none of you are talking about the real highlight of the thing, which was yeah. Palea, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the farming cooking farming thing. With, <laughs> it's weird how many of those there are, isn't it? I like, love them. No, I love them. But th- that's my sort of... I love a game where you get to do some cooking and have a little farm. And like lately, I've been on stream late at night. I've been playing um, Harvest Moon, the PlayStation 1 version. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but usually by that point in the stream, I'm so drunk, I can't work out, <laughs> couldn't work out how how to put the grass in the thing, the, the bucket that they collect it from last week. So I just wandered <laughs> around my farm, I think for about 40 minutes, and then I eventually just, went, I'm like, going to bed. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy those games. I just, I, I can't, like, is there, like, are there people out there who just like every single one, they're just like, fuck it. Yeah, they play all game. of them. Yeah. yeah, it feels like you'd play like one or two of them, like Harvest Moon, is is like well respected you've got uh, animal crossing which yeah. all right is a different type of game james before you step in and start you know and um, but, but you know <laughs> it's it's the ones where it's like i don't know the the, the, the farm to the west well, there's, yeah, because there's the story of seasons, right? Which is the story of seasons. Exactly. Story of seasons. They're the people. No, who but that's recent, the follow-on did, from Harvest Moon. Yeah, they did the older yeah. Harvest Moon. Oh, right. Okay, I think they split up. And there's like there's Rune Factory. That's the one where it's like fantasy, and also you do fighting. Um, and then there's and that those are like the established series. And then there's like shit loads of indie ones as well. And they seem yeah. to always be revealed at the Nintendo Direct. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, that I and the wholesome bit. direct. I didn't, I didn't watch this year's Wholesome Directs, but I gather there were still quite a few of these. Yeah. yeah. Just, it, this one, I have to say, doesn't look, even as a fan of the genre, this looks a bit just weird. The, the characters are just weird. Like, Animal Crossing is, is cutesy, isn't it? You get that. Even, like, Harvest Moon is sort of, it's in a particular style, but this is like, they, it's like they've tried to make them look like real humans, but then there's a fucking magic cat doing <laughs> potions. It's, it doesn't work. Like yeah. you've got to pick a style. I feel like so. Yeah, yeah. But, you say, but you say that, but with Animal Crossing, right? It's really cutesy, and I love it. And then sometimes in the evening, a tarantula comes and fucking chases you down and kills mm. you. Like yeah. I don't know why that's in it. And if it's not a tarantula, it's a fucking scorpion. Give me a break. I well, have you done the thing where you don't go to your house in Animal Crossing for ages and then you go back and there's cockroaches? Yeah, it's yeah, absolutely, yeah. it's awful. It's yeah. like a yeah. Channel 5 documentary. It's yeah. terrible. You're like, it's like, because your house is like a hoarder's house because obviously you've got all this shit in it you've collected. And then it's full of cockroaches. It just makes me feel terrible. I can't touch I'd, it. 
I was just, I'll never forget when my boy was like banging to Animal Crossing. Uh, one evening he was playing it and he was just playing it like he normally was. And then he just turned it off and put it to the side and st- looked, sat up staring into space. I went, you all right, mate? He said, yep. I went, you finished with Animal Crossing? Yep. I said, did you see the tarantula, mate? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so just, let's man. go to bed. It's all all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like sitting there for hours, like staring at the ceiling. They're not real. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a wild decision, but did, mm. was that in the previous games as well, James? Yeah, yeah. They they've had that sort of thing in most Ooh. of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, just quickly, does anyone think it was a bit weird? Uh, they had a whole bit on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC when. As far as I'm aware, the main game has not been fixed <laughs> in any way. Uh, it's it part of the roadmap, Sean. Sean. It's part, part of the, part of the roadmap. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah can't um, the roadmap. I thought it was weirder that they've got a 1-2 Switch game coming out in a matter of weeks. Yes. And it, they didn't even mention it at this No thing. mention of that whatsoever. That I think it might um, be bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's still weird, right? You, mm. Why wouldn't you even show it and say, we've got this game coming out? They're working on it. They're bringing it out. And they don't have it at the Nintendo Direct. It's bizarre. That is bizarre. I think that and, it, and it's so strange because obviously the Switch hasn't cultivated like that audience that the Wii had, right? It's not like there are millions and millions of people waiting for a, a Wii One, Sports Switch. type of thing. I mean, obviously we had Switch Sports, and let's not even talk about that. Um, right. I, yeah, I don't think those people, you, like, they're, not, they're not after the, the waggle stuff. Right. I'm looking at the... So, Shot 2 yeah. are selling Everybody 1-2 Switch, which is this new game, for £21.85. Oh. If you want to buy the original 1-2 Switch, it's £32.99. So, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on there. <laughs> but, but, um, but, yeah, who's buying that? Who is buying that? Is that it for the Nintendo Direct, the Nintendo Direct James? I think so. I don't think there was, there was much else. Um, okay, the next story is, I mean, Microsoft are raising their prices um, for the Series X and Game Pass in the coming months. So, coming yeah. Game Pass Ultimate is going from 10.99 to 12.99 and the console uh, and the and the just regular Game Pass for the consoles is 7.99 to 8.99 and then the Series X is rising to 479.99 so it's the same price as a PS5 now. And but there's no uh, price increases for the Series S uh, yet. Yeah. So, so sorry, the okay. console's going up. I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The console's going up as well. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Because after Sony announced their price increase, mm. they were like, Ah, no, nah, we're sort of yeah, no, nah, we're not thinking about any of that. Just I mean, they said like about... for now, right? I don't think. Yeah, they, I know, but like they said they were still... never going to do it. Do you um, reckon they've just looked at all these other businesses around the world that have said, "God, oh, we've got to put our prices up," and then like weeks later announcing like massive pros- profit increases, and just thought, <laughs> "Yeah, I want a bit of that. I want a piece of I that." I think I think they've done a capitalism, is what they've done. That's <laughs> exactly really what they've done. Really they've gone and done a capitalism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's uh, it's horrible, isn't it? I mean, they <laughs> they played it well though, because they've let like you know Sony did it first, so then they took all the flack for like saying, oh, it's outrageous that this is going on, and then and Microsoft normalized. do it, and everyone's like, oh yes, yeah, understandable, really. I mean, everyone's doing <laughs> yeah, it. You you're know? absolutely right. <laughs> that is the reaction. Well, because Sony did it first, and then life continued to get worse. <laughs> yeah. So now everyone's like, yeah. yeah, of course, of course, the Xbox is more expensive now. Um, oh. So the Series S is staying the same, right? Yeah. But obviously, they're bringing that new one out. Plus the Barbie one. Mm. No, I know you haven't put that in the news, James. Where's well, the Barbie wasn't, stuff? Wasn't very interesting, sure. <laughs> they accidentally revealed the new Xbox controller. It's not though. It's just a controller with a mute button on it, right? And a microphone built in. Great. Come on, that thing everyone was asking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we want. More micro- microphones in our flat. That's yep. what I need. 100%. More ways Connected for people to, to listen in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but of course, it is still a Barbie controller, so it still doesn't have any genitals. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> Regrettably. The one thing we did actually yeah. add into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I, I just, yeah, no, it sucks, man. And uh, um, I, I, like, I, was, I heard someone say, um, oh, I'm surprised that Nintendo haven't done this with a Switch. And I thought, yeah, but the parts of the Switch are so old now, they're practically giving them away. I was going to say, yeah, they're, they're all made one of those things. pre-COVID, weren't they? All the yeah. Switches that are still yeah, on sale. Yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're doing fine, Nintendo. I won't worry about them. 
Do you think this is going to mean that we're less likely to get like another like pro versions of these consoles or whatever now? I think so, yeah. I think there's no need to at this point, is there? I mean, yeah. no one's really making the most out of those those high-end consoles yet, are they? So I think they're happy to just keep pumping these things out until sales take a dip and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and then they'll start thinking about releasing the stronger piece of hardware and but it would be a micro it would be a, a nightmare for microsoft trying to uh, de- de- get everyone to develop for free SKUs, you know free tiers of what their consoles can do it'd be it'd be terrible for them but um, but then do they as soon as the next one's announced do they start quietly dropping the s that would be dangerous as well though isn't it because mm. technically they were selling that as a current yeah yeah, 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 yeah they yeah. were they were selling a current gen console and for them to go yeah but we're not going to be focusing on that anymore it's too risky isn't it i don't know i think they should bring back the connect and put the price of that up (laughs) let's let's yeah why not why not finally put out that peter molyneux game with the mad weird puppet boy (laughs) that we've all been waiting for we haven't heard anything from molyneux for years now have we he doesn't talk does he anymore no uh, you know because to the press that is not not just in general i reckon he's in a basement somewhere with that that um that early copy of milo and he's he's still trying to raise that child. What what copy? It was it was never a thing. No, it was it complete. Was, no, it was completely no, no, there fictitious. Was, there was a, there was, no, it wasn't. There was a tech it demo. Was, it wasn't. I no, saw it. It was it. There was it oh, was really? a tech demo. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it was a tech demo. But it looked nothing like that video. Oh, that's right. Because then they, they then massively downgraded <laughs> yeah. the connect, didn't they? After yeah. that, <laughs> yeah. Film. There was a yeah, bit yeah. where like Milo would say, "Hello, what should I do now?" <laughs> and then it would freeze like, <laughs> like, 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 and, then, and then it come up with two icons play go home play play you want me to go home <laughs> like, just, last night last i heard of molyneux he was supposed to come to my house it was about eight years ago and i was really? making a video about dungeon keeper because i used to love oh, dungeon yeah. keeper mm-hmm. and um he was going to come to my house and play it with me and we were going to mm-hmm. chat and it was going to be amazing and like mm-hmm. even on the morning it was happening it was like i was like is he definitely coming yes he's definitely coming and then i think two hours before he was supposed to arrive is his pa Messaged me and said, oh, he's not. No, he's not coming. <laughs> I can't it's remember what the excuse was, but it's just, yeah, it's just not coming. Come, yeah. I but like I had to make this video. Did you, did you invite him out or did you just say you wanted to interview him and he just kind of went, hey, I'll, I'll come to your house. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just show off. I think I said, I'm because I'm, I used to make these videos and they weren't very good, but they were me just playing a game with a guest and talking about it. So I did one with McNeil and Pamphlon. I did one with Alistair Beckett King and, and, and I just thought it would be fun to ask him because I'd interviewed him a few times and stuff and I thought he'd be and he to my amazement he was up for it but then not to my amazement he didn't actually turn up for it so but it was like not, two not hours like him and I, a promise and no <laughs> and it was when I was I was part-time because I just had a baby so I only worked two days oh, a week wow. so I had to make a video that day I couldn't mm-hmm. like just mm-hmm. so I had lying around I had um, a coconut just in my fruit bowl so I just do <laughs> drew a face on it and <laughs> pretended that was Peter Molyneux and made a video of me playing the game with a coconut <laughs> Uh, which I uh, think I uh, think one of my bosses at Eurogamer said was just weird. So, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> it was around that time I started to think I don't know that making video content is my forte. I don't think this is for me. Uh, so I'm a when writer. you were sitting there thinking Peter Molyneux was coming around your house to yeah. play video games with you, what do you do? do I mean, you just tidy up. If, yeah, <laughs> you tidy up, right? That's that's what you know. But then. Do you like think oh, if I leave that game out or can I should I position it? I'd be overthinking everything. What's the first thing? You what I normally do is just make sure that I have at least three Guinness World Records in every room, <laughs> <laughs> and that usually impresses the guest, yeah. whoever it is. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, then we can all move on. Got your um, art of like power monger and like populous on the walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, I thought Fable Three was fine. Walls <laughs> 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 through the door. <laughs> Um, yeah, no. Here's a cap. I wouldn't mind him making a comeback. What about that? What about that? I forgive you of all the lies and all the anger that people <laughs> had because there was some. There was nothing in the cube. But just because there was nothing in the cube, everyone got angry at you. It's all forgotten now, Peter. Come back to the limelight. God, remember those those come round, come out. round. We get the coconut <laughs> out. The three of us can do a stream, Peter. Do remember there was that yeah, interview. On, was it John Walker did that interview with him where it was like everyone was like, "You are correct, John," but. Come on, mate. This is horrible. Well, he, didn't he open with, are you, know, are you a pathological liar? <laughs> As yeah. as yeah. Like oh, that was, oh, that was a yeah. really hard read, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, John, John is a very passionate man, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, um, 
Uh, yeah, because we had someone who's associated with the show wrote the Peter Molyneux, the the um, the parody Peter Molyneux account, and when he got invited to go and meet, it was so weird, right? Because I love I love Adam, like he's the nicest guy, but he's also very odd, and he he's okay. <laughs> he'll, he'll know that I I say that about him a lot. And just seeing him, it was an interview for Wired. He got to meet Peter Molyneux. And there was a photo. He sent me a photo of Peter Molyneux putting him in a headlock. And that was the first I knew about it because he kept it quiet until that moment. And I went, what the fuck is going on? And you're going to have to send me that. Uh, we, we, we have to tweet that or whatever. But then seeing, because it was for Wired and there was a, like a double page spread. Or oh, well, one page was Peter Molyneux. And one page was Capone Adam. And it was just like, this is the... Do you ever think that when he started that silly little parody account that he thought one day I'd be sitting across from him going, yeah, sorry about that. It was, uh, it was a bit stuck. It was a bit and It got wildly out of control. Um, yeah. Well, I've just had a look. 22, 22 Can's Twitter account last tweeted in May 2018. Oh, okay. That's a shame. Well, they did that mobile game, didn't they? It was like they did. There was the, the, the trail, which was yeah, all the trail. trail. I seem to remember quite enjoying it. Um, yeah. And then obviously there was Goddess, but that went nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Still, we had that cube. We'll always have that we cube. Have um, that cube. Next. Um, okay. So also, this is about. The, sorry, there's a fly, like buzzing <laughs> around, right? <laughs> And I'm really he's worried just, that he's this a is professional, gonna... isn't he? No, That's no, I'm worried this is gonna <laughs> this is gonna like because it keeps buzzing around the mic, and you know it's gonna like get up, Anything. which is not great. But anyway, um, so I just found a picture of me with the coconut. There you can see. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I watched that. I definitely watched that. I remember that coconut in the background. There you go. That's content there. Yeah. <laughs> James, sorry, you sorted your fly out. Yeah. So anyway, um, Rebecca Valentine at IGN has put together yeah. a rather like, sort of long report on the state of Perfect Dark, um, because mm -hmm. which has just come out today, because um, she's been talking with people um, inside like Crystal Dynamics and uh, maybe also people that used to work for the initiative as well, and basically talking about what's happened to the game and where it's where it's sort of going in the future, and it seems that it's a, a little bit of a mess um, at the moment because it was... It, so the trailer that we saw in 2020 was obviously... I mean, that was made by a third party. It was nothing to do it with... It wasn't even the trailer, was it? It was just the logo, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, no, it was more than that. It was like a, a sort of a concept video. It was you know, a they put trailer, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't remember that. Okay. And they said... it says uh, So the goal for Perfect Art was to deliver this sort of combat and espionage, you know, James Bond, Mission Impossible kind of game. But it turns out that the leadership didn't sort of commit on any specific ideas or shape uh, for the game uh, for like a, like two or three years, basically. They kept on just throwing out ideas and nothing sort of solidified um, like completely. And then they also, the initiative, which was, was a very small team, and they started working with this other company called Certain Affinity, um, who also worked on Halo and some Call of Duty uh, games as well. But apparently there was this big mismatch between the two studios because Certain Affinity is massive um, and... Uh, yeah, the initiative is tiny, and so there was right. a lot of mm -hmm. sort of uh, disputes uh, between them. And then eventually they left, and then Crystal Dynamics were brought in in 2021. But then what they had to work with when Crystal Dynamics came in, they sort of said, "There's actually nothing here, really. You know, that we can sort of do anything that we can really continue rude. with." Bit so bit negative, Crystal Dynamics, bit negative yeah. there. Naysayers they are. Famous. <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> You're not going to get anything done with that. Actually, Crystal Dynamics. They are famously. They're just very. Very glass half empty, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Dynamics. That's <laughs> what everyone always says. Yeah. This I mean, is shit. <laughs> oh, cheers. Thanks. We're so glad we got you on board. <laughs> well, I think Lara is such a miserable cow in the remake. <laughs> <laughs> it filters, seeps through their negative attitude. Yeah. So, they, I mean, they said a lot of the projects, if not almost all of it, ended up needing to be wholly reworked. So, yeah, the whole thing is, you know, they're, they're having to sort of start from scratch. And uh, apparently now they they are almost like sort of fully in the driving seat for the project, and but there's no sort of uh, you know there's no indication of when this is actually going to appear. I mean, it can take anything. as long as it wants, right? 
I mean, I mean yeah, financially, like, no. Just do something else at this point, surely. Just have <laughs> another I idea. Is, when I read, because this is quite a long article, and I just thought they ought to just can this by this point, surely. Like, and just work on something else. <laughs> You're just like, you, you might know? as well work for Crystal Dynamics, James. <laughs> 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 might as well can it. It's outrageous. Um, other, we don't know, do we? Like, it, it's, if, they, if they bring out a perfect dark game along the way, then whatever. But. I don't know what's going on over at Microsoft at the moment. They, it feels like they don't know what to do next. And I'm sure they do. I'm sure they've I don't got know. I think after that... This is why I'm saying bring back Connect, but they won't <laughs> listen to me. They won't reply to my emails. <laughs> well, maybe you we know. can swap campaigns. Maybe I'll go to the, uh, and contact them about Connect, and then you can go to the uh, uh, the Power Wash Sim people and get my um, Only Fools and Horses DLC <laughs> yeah. for me. Yeah, right. Three words for you. Connect to Bieber Pinata. There you go. That's blown your mind. <laughs> And, uh, and okay. a remake of Connect Star Wars as well. Oh. Was that with good? the dancing was that and all that, you know. Was that I hate yeah. that. It had dancing in it. It did, yeah. yeah. It was a. Uh, yeah. Man Solo. <laughs> Man Solo. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Oh, oh, it's oh, that does ring a bell now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I blocked it out. <laughs> I got PTSD. It was one of those oh. games where everyone was like, it's amazing. You're going to be able to like pick up like a, a stick or something and pretend it's a lightsaber and it'll look like <laughs> it on screen. Big and you'll be able something. to like fight with people and stuff. And it ended up being like uh, like a rhythm action dancing sections and stuff like that. And it's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very um, well, and Peter Molyneux could come... Uh, P- Peter Molyneux can come, uh, come back for some... Uh, what was it? Fable the Journey. Mm. Remember that? When you were on a horse yeah. and cart and just doing this? <laughs> that was also that was another podcast, but... that was another Molyneux thing where he came out and he, and he originally said it's completely open world you can go everywhere and then yeah, all the developers were like why are you saying yeah, this yeah, <laughs> what was yeah, the uh, Tetsuya Mizuguchi was it Child of Eden yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. that I was, was like, decent we, man but yeah well, but I played it in a shop and I was like oh I think I might be a real space wizard <laughs> <laughs> But genuinely, have you played that with a pad? It's way better. Really? <laughs> it's like actually playable, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, all right, okay, James. So next story is that Meta are releasing their own subscription service thing. Uh, oh, so this yeah. is, mm-hmm. this is it, what's it called? It's called Meta Plus. And yeah. it's, uh, okay, do you want to hear the, the Zuckerberg tweet? Oh, or quest quote, plus. rather. Sorry, Quest Plus. Mark Zuckerberg. He said, he said, with a combination of VR's biggest hits, hidden gems, and back catalogue classics, this is the most affordable way to grow your library with killer content. So there's going to be some games... <laughs> grow already... your library? Grow your own fucking library? What are you talking about? Grow your library? It's like, yeah, the, the way he's described that's like, right, with, so it's with, going to be... With killer content. It's going to be knows. games I've already bought because I know they're good, or games I chose not to buy because I didn't think they were very good. <laughs> That's I probably do look unfair. at my library sometimes and go, this is pathetic. I need to, to grow, grow this. this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put some compost on it, tamp it down. I just, I, I feel like, like the, you know, the, the, the Quest library is pretty good at this point, but it's not like, I don't know, if you bought a Quest today, it's not like, oh, right, these are like 20 hidden gems that you've never heard of that are amazing you need to check out. Like, the essentials have been pretty fixed for the last two That's years. That's the problem for me, because if I'm yeah. thinking about getting a new quest at the end of the year, mm. I just know I'm going to be playing poker and golf. That's it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing in the horizon where I go, oh, that's why I want to get into VR. It's not, mm. it's just poker. See, and also, <laughs> this, is, this is more like games with gold than Game Pass as well, because yes. you get it's two games a month um, yeah. they're adding you know, to this each time. And it's, it's the usual thing where, you know, if you stop subscribing, you don't get access to those anymore. And uh, I mean, in July, the first games are Pistol Whip and Pixel Ripped 1995. See, yeah, like I've already yeah. got Pistol Whip, and I've already chosen not to buy Pixel Ripped 1995. <laughs> Why have they picked two games that sound very similar? <laughs> the titles. I mean, mix it up a bit. They've got yeah. different titles there, haven't they? But they picked those two. Yeah. But they're charging. It's oh, eight, then, then eight August, dollars a month. And then in August, it's Walkabout Mini Golf and Mother Gunship Forge. Um, if you don't already have Walkabout Mini Golf, what's wrong with you? Which is like twelve um, quid anyway, isn't it? So well, yeah. yeah. It's not, so I'll just buy so, it. Yeah, a very negative uh, show this week, yeah. everyone. Very negative. Yeah. Is it so, sponsored by Crystal Dynamics? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully. It's um, just, I don't know. It's just strange. like I, I, I don't feel like yeah. I, I don't feel like there's so many quest games that like discoverability is an issue. Like it's it's not. It's pretty easy to find the best stuff still. 
It's like the you know right. the early Switch days where it's like oh like everything that's worthwhile gets a, a a shot at being visible on the eShop. Not really the case anymore. But I feel like the quest is still at that point. So it's not. I don't know. I just I don't feel like it, it, this is going to aid like good titles that got overlooked. But I don't know. no. But this is this is about increasing engagement again, isn't it? Because you know they said recently that a lot of people Do that bought Quest Twos recently oh. like haven't played them very much. And it's like if yeah. you get someone subscribed to something like this, you'd be hoping that every month at least they're going to go back and put it on and try. I suppose, it out yeah, it's a reason for every month to be like, oh, yeah, I should probably charge that again. And, Turn it on. Yeah. See what these new games my, are. That I'm my theory for. is the people that are willing to go back every month and try new stuff, they've probably already bought the games they're offering at the eight yes. pound a, a month tier, yeah. right? So, yeah. I don't know. Have you, have you played much VR stuff, Ellie? Or have you? Are you a believer? Um, I recently I played it. I I got a PSVR I think when it came out, and then I did that thing of yeah, we played it three times, and then it was just a lot of effort with cables, and yeah, um, yeah. it made my my little son feel sick, and my dad nearly broke the coffee table, so uh, we didn't bother. <laughs> but um, the other week, I went to my friend Emily Falkreef's, um house. She's an amazing streamer, and she she's got all the things, and um, she put me on the VR like it's like taking your mum out for the day. <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, mum, put the I hat didn't know on. Where I Put the special hat on, and uh, uh, it was brilliant. And we had a brilliant time. And she, I played Beat Saber, which I'd never played before, which I thought was amazing. I was completely brilliant at it, absolutely 100% amazing. I bet you look really and, cool in real life as well. Oh, right? so cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yes. cool. And then we played this game called Dead Hungry that was really, I really enjoyed because I love cooking games. So, you know, that was really fun. And then we played um, the Horizon, the VR, blew my mind. I was like, bloody hell, like I can actually, yeah, I can you know dangle things in the water and fire arrows and i got very very excited and only felt a little bit sick so um it's it's so then i got very excited when i got home and was like brilliant kids right we're getting out the the psvr but of course now we've got the ps5 set up and you i didn't know that you need a special dongle to Mm. bloody plug it in so then i've had to fill out the stupid form for Sony and they've said they'll send me this dongle but they haven't even like dispatched it yet I don't think and I'm just I'm like this is the future this is what it is isn't it you need another bit of plastic to make this enormous bit of plastic work with that <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. god forbid I could actually get the PS4 out of the cupboard in the loft because that would involve <laughs> going up three flights of stairs yeah. and I'm gonna no I'd rather wait I'd rather wait for this thing See, to arrive I think that's genuinely well for, for starters when you when you find yourself in situations like that do you not just drop the fact that you're a world record holder into the well you do know that i'm a world record holder so if you can pop that in the post a little bit make it first class when you send over the dongle please rather you're than, right uh, i just you didn't think play that card a little bit more it's just i'm so humble david that often, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i forget that i could exploit my incredible power and fame for personal gain i just forget about that so what you, that's what i should do i think that genuinely is is why the quest is is i don't know it's it's just so much more accessible because it's usually just sitting there and you could just pick it up, put it on your head and press the on button and you're mm. away. Mm. Whereas like the PlayStation, you, you're getting it all out and stick it. Yeah, if it's charged. Yeah, no, I get, I get that. Trust me, my mate Chris, uh, absolute nightmare. Should we play Walkabout Mini Golf? Uh, it's not on charge. It's like, for Christ's sake, <laughs> just put it on charge once. Um, but yeah, that, I, I, that's why I like the Quest more, I think. The mm, fact that you can same. just whack it on your head and press the on button is is, is a big draw, um, rather than plugging everything in. But I mean, you've not played your your new one for a while, right, James? I've not played it so much. No, I, I've actually I've got a new game actually to play on it, which I've forgotten yeah. the name of, which is really oh, irritating. Um, and let me Mind check. Radio this. Random now, <laughs> is <laughs> is no, it Dead to Rights oh, Retribution <laughs> VR? Please say it is. You're actually inside the dog's head. Walking around, <laughs> sniffing other police dogs' asses, absolutely oh amazing. God, has anyone done a VR game where you play to, like you have to get on all fours and be a dog? That'd be amazing. If not, why? Oh, Tokyo <laughs> Jungle VR. I would love that. I would love Just going that. Around having to bite other animals. <laughs> oh yeah. Would you imagine headbutting the coffee table doing that though? <laughs> Just smashing the thing. Just, Just being <laughs> being found three days later, ironically half eaten by your own actual dog. <laughs> 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 uh, James, so it's called it's called C Smash um, VRS. Oh, the okay. yeah, Cosmic Smash yeah. make thing. Yeah, sequel. So I'll, I'll, I'll I'll I'm very excited to get involved with that game. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm really excited. Look, just because I'm not like going amazing 
super and all that kind of stuff. I still, I'm <laughs> Come on, we need to bring that. Being excited. We need some Jeff Keighley energy. You should invite him on. Get him on. Get him on here. Should you have him on? Yeah, get him on. That was, get him on the show. Like, the just opportunity give, to give explain what, some it, what excitement was yeah. to him then. And he just went, just because I'm not, oh, amazing, super happy. Uh. <laughs> Let's move Look, on. I'm just not, I'm not happy with the Jeff Keighley level of razzmatazz. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. He hates the razzmatazz. I don't like the razzmatazz. Uh, what's the next piece of the show? Okay, anyway, here's some more bad news. Um, E3 2024 <laughs> and 2025 um, have not been cancelled. Why is that so bad that's, that's, news? That's not potentially not... Well, no, no, got wait, wait and listen to the whole okay. thing. So okay. apparently the Los Angeles Tourism Board of Commissioners um, indicated that the show had been cancelled for the next two years. Oh, and right. they said this because they were like revealing like updates and their projections for future sales and stuff, so they were like, it's, it's all done. But then, so GamesIndustry.biz contacted the ESA, and who then just said that they're currently having conversations about no. E3 2024 and beyond. And that there had been no final decisions that it had been cancelled. So no, they're all like, no, it's not cancelled. It's, 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 it may still happen. Everything's it's fine. Like, like it sounds like it's... I mean, we, we, it's over, right? It's over, man. I we, don't know, no, ma'am. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. It's, like, it's like the cockroaches in Animal Crossing. You can <laughs> squash them, but they will. Because I remember I was a journalist when the year when it was supposed to be over, and then it mm. and then it moved to Santa Monica, and mm. I went that year, and we were like it was in like eight different hotels, and it was just a stupid. It was like a video game. You had to constantly like run between all these hotels and find the right suite that had the right game in, and then run to the next appointment. And it was, and it came back after that. So. But that was different, you know. Yeah, I think content's changed now, hasn't it? Like mm. it's all, it's all just men talking on the internet about things on camera, and nobody's stopping them or even paying them. It's just different to <laughs> when it was in my day. <laughs> yeah, it's too much of that. Um, I, I, I just, I can't see how it comes back from this because uh, although, but, yeah, it's had its dips before, but like this year was a real sort of. Mm. Oh, they cancelled it. And then Jeff came out. Your mate Jeff come out and sort of went, "Oh, it's too bad. This. Oh, well, I guess <laughs> I better do it now." It's all right, Jeff. Yeah, I'm really sad. It's honestly, not. But pl- also... as played by Michael Crawford, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would get him to play him if it, we were dramatising it. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> play himself. But, uh, you can yeah, yeah. Well, he <laughs> fucking would as well, wouldn't he? <laughs> 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 I don't know. I just I can't see a way back for it. And when you've got when you've got an international what is it, a national board or whatever going, yeah, no, it's not coming back. <laughs> e three going, it might actually. It might, you never know. Yeah, but like haven't like it's Repop like invested in all this as well. Like they they're quite keen on I don't doing think they've it invested, still. have they? When when they brought in to, to work on it, I don't think yeah. that means Yeah, I don't know how it works. I don't know how all that business works, but um, I don't know. I will. I mean, they're, they're miss presumably E3. quite happy with PAX, right? I don't. I don't think yes. they. I don't think Reed Pop needs E3 as much as E3 needs Reed Pop at this point. Right, but know. but um, but I will always miss it, man. Like E3 mm. was my thing every year. So excited! I loved it. Never managed to go, but if I'd have gone, I probably would have cried. Um, <laughs> so, so um, I am absolutely gutted that it's probably gone now, and we're left with Summer Games Fest. <laughs> and we're Game never going to get to do another one of those like fake shows again, which is that's we'll work that out a way. Yeah. We did. Uh, sorry, Ellie, you, you we we our E three show every year. One of us would have to have missed it, and then we had to explain what happened to the person that missed it on the podcast while lying quite a Amazing. lot during it. Dropping. We managed to convince James that uh, there was an F-Zero game coming. We made a fake <laughs> we, trailer. We, we made a fake trailer <laughs> for it. <laughs> <laughs> Linked Which into the YouTube channel. Was, what was, was the laughing. YouTube? What, what did I call the channel? It was like Game of Vids UK or something. Yeah, it was like Game of Vids UK. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Game of, F-Zero, Night, F-Zero Night Run. It had a yeah. whole intro and he watched it while we were recording the pod. Amazing. Cut halfway through to us just laughing. <laughs> That's <laughs> brilliant. little face. Well, place. they do get savvy. One of my favourite um, E3 stories ever was when I went one year with um, a friend of mine. He was a journalist on a red top newspaper. He was the star. And um, he was flown out by Microsoft to cover the Microsoft thing. And they put him up in the Chateau Marmont and all this shit. And then uh, he got so fucked that he missed the Microsoft E3 <laughs> conference. 
he didn't turn up, right? So like the PR like was like really angry with him. She's like, right. She, she came to his hotel room. She's like, right, sit there. There's your desk. Plug your laptop in. You're going to sit there and you're not allowed out until you've written up. Look it up on YouTube and you're going to write up your article for your red top newspaper about the conference. And he was like, okay, yeah, all right, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. And then she came back like two hours later and she's like, right, how's it going? And he's like, yeah, no, I've nearly, I've nearly finished. Have a look. And she looked at it and she went, mate, this is last year's E3 Microsoft <laughs> conference no. that you've written oh up. <laughs> It was a different time. <laughs> oh, that is good. Um, uh, yeah, not being part of that kills me. I was never part of it, but not being part of it. It was brilliant. More. It was um, really a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't really want to go to Summer Games Fest. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's next? So, also, um, so Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 is coming right. out, mm, but then right. it seems that we know what's going to be in Volume 2, and it seems that it is going to be... Is it the Metal next Gear Solid... Metal Gear Solid game that well, wasn't no, in the it's, last g- one. it's going to be 4, Peace Walker, and um, also and 5 as well, okay. which yes. is... And that's quite a big deal, because 4 only ever came out on PS3, so this is yeah. something which is potentially good. Uh, mm-hmm. that maybe Well, 4, it's, it's... 4 wasn't the best game, was it? I'm yeah, not really it do you remember? Do you, all, all I remember about that game is that there's a 45-minute cutscene where they cooked eggs... 25 minutes of cooking an egg. What I, what I, I love about that. Metal Gear Solid That's 4 basically I remember, Master Chef. I remember yeah, reading Chef. a forum post that was just, this, this guy just absolutely despised it. And he was just like, there's this one bit where you're just in this corridor and all you have to do is mash the X button. And then, but then, like, and then, like, five years later, playing that bit and being like, this is incredible. This is, <laughs> this like, yeah, is incredible. Like, I've, I've seen all the, the cutscenes, like, all the, you know, the little sort of box outs of all the, the stuff people did to get Snake in that corridor. <laughs> just, like, just mashing this button. And it's like, yeah, yeah but then, no, I, I know but then what it feels like. There was also like the now. bit with the lady on the motorbike that they just kept zooming in on throughout yeah. the whole bike ride. <laughs> so it was like. Um, yeah, okay, right. Well, that's Metal Gear Solid. I don't think we need to go into that anymore. Well, it's, it's just, it, it's weird, isn't it? Like I was saying, like, stuff being re-released on new platforms, I'm, I'm all, you know, absolutely fine with. But it's just a bit weird that obviously Konami's just like, oh, no, we we kicked out the guy that made these. <laughs> can we just, how many have we got? Can we re-release them? Or can we get someone else? What's Peter Molyneux doing now? Can we just... <laughs> <laughs> just oh, could in. you imagine if Peter Molyneux was, like, doing the next yeah. Metal Gear Solid game? <laughs> and it will allow you to actually become Solid Snake in real life. That's, yeah. yeah. yeah we, well, asked, we can't get Crystal him. Dynamics and they said they weren't, they weren't into it. Um, but well, he's like, what, what about, we can't get any of them, what about Yuji Naka? And it's like, oh, he's, uh, <laughs> no, he's uh, not yeah. available right now. Um, okay. um, so, I mean, I was scraping the barrel here, but this is the last story. Um, is that Sonic Superstars is going to come out three days before Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So it's right. like you've well, got a bit of the uh, the old three days of real clear yeah, water. It's like the old days, before. isn't it? Who are you yeah. a fan of? Oh, thank you. I was going to ask you to close the curtains. Are you in your pants? Sorry, it's my husband. Sorry. You could turn your right. camera off if you want. Well, it's my husband in his pants. <laughs> Whip them off. We'll get more subscribers. That's true. Or we'll get a Twitch account thank taken you, off. I'm not sure. And now he's closing the curtain in his pants so the neighbours think something exciting is about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, darling. Right, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Oh my god, don't! That's obs- you'll get, they'll get banned. They'll get banned of Twitch. No, it's not a hot no. tub stream. <laughs> sorry, so sorry. And I forget that because on my on my streams, this sort of thing just happens all the time. People come in and out. When I did the Power Rush record, Handy Andy, my mate, came round and he knocked a shelf out just while I was playing the game. So I forget that most people's streams are actually quite professional. And and you know, sorry. <laughs> I mean, the fact that anyone's described this as professional is uh, is actually made my day. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, uh, right. So Sonic, Sonic Superstars. From... Yeah. Cool. So, so, so it's like back being back in the nineties, is it, James? Yeah. Whatever. Mario versus Sonic, <laughs> is it? Yeah. Don't bring it to the table and not say anything, then. Well, no, because I thought you'd be excited about this, because you're the one who's like, you know, you, you asked Yuji Naka that question, didn't you? Like, I did. You know, on stage or whatever I about did. all that. I did. I asked him. And he was a free he, man. He, 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 I said to him, so he, this was at one of the EGXs, and I asked him, how do you feel about Mario and Sonic being in games together? And he said, it was my idea. And based on recent <laughs> news events, 
I don't know if I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be bollocks, Yuji Daka. <laughs> if you're allowed to listen to this. Um, <laughs> why, have we, why have we turned on Yuji Naka apart from <laughs> because it's because of all the fraud Sean, we're <laughs> it wasn't fraud it was insider trading which... that is well yeah. that is fraud it's, it's not, that, it's is, that is what fraud. fraud is isn't it I've been listening to a lot of the dropout podcast lately I'm pretty much an expert on this now and I think that is fraud, yeah. fraud. I remember we did a podcast at EGX and Yuji Naka was on the next table and watching us he was watching us podcast and it was really unnerving because we were like, there's the guy that made Sonic. Don't know if he did now. I don't trust anything about him <laughs> You think anymore. we can't believe anything he's, he's ever said. Exactly. And he okay. was sitting there and he was just staring at us. And now I'm pretty sure he was just waiting for us to put our credit card details into the computer on the table. I reckon that's why he was looking at us. <laughs> I reckon that's what was going on. What about that? Can't touch me now, can he? So that's the. He was watching your podcast and he was writing on a little post it note like TCGS invest question <laughs> mark. <laughs> I heard they're going to require cane and rinse. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got better things to spend money on. Um, is that it for the news? That, that is Farley? it, yeah. There's nothing else. Well, yeah. then let's get to what you've been playing. And I think we should really start with James Farley because he moaned about when he got picked <laughs> when it was his turn. Got all the Go time on. in the world, mate. Go on. That's true. I mean, yeah, I mean, the only thing I've really been playing this week. Well, actually, no, there's two things. One of them I didn't put down on the list because I've been playing. I have been playing Advance Wars 2, actually. And uh, I'm on the final mission of that. And I've done it about six or seven times and I can't beat it. And it's really I was irritating say, me. I remember the second one being significantly harder than the first. Mm-hmm. Like, r- annoyingly right. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's incredibly difficult because you've, you've got a time limit. Like, there's a really tight time limit. There's also the, like, the person you're up against has these ridiculous bullshit moves that like, destroy like, your entire... Like, whatever you've planned you know, to send up against him, they just get wiped out like, in, one, in one shot and stuff like that. It's, it's really, really quite irritating. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to keep trying it because I'm, I'm still enjoying it. It's just, uh, it's just getting a bit frustrating because the rest of the game, it's, it's such a difficulty spike because the rest of the game was not really terribly difficult, and this one is, it's very, yeah, really hard. How do you deal with your rage with stuff like this, James? What, what, you, what are we talking? Do you, do you, are, are you slamming the switch down? Are you turning it off and just put, placing it to the side? Do, you, do you have to do controlled breathing? What, no, no, I've got. Are we going with it? I mean, at this stage now with this, because I've done it like so many times, I've got to the stage where it's just it's just a sigh, and it's just like, oh, this again. And then you just... I, I have seen you frustrated at a game before when we were driving to Matt's and you were playing that Rabbids game. Oh, and yeah. I remember you shouting at the Switch. Is that a regular, is that a regular that occurrence? That doesn't happen all the time. That happens much less now than it used to, I think. Oh, you know, it? It was Probably was that before our kids? No, it wasn't. I had children by that point. No. No, Isn't yeah. it weird how it's sort of normalised? Oh, how many controllers have you broken? Like, None. None. You need yeah. help. If you're doing that, you need to speak to someone. Like, <laughs> yeah, how many have you done? <laughs> it's not, it's, well, that's what's so beautiful about those compilations from uh, Smash Brothers tournaments. Because mm. it's people smashing up rare controllers yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they've lost the most stupid beat em up game of all time. <laughs> <laughs> They're just pulling them out and smashing them on the floor. It's unbelievable. Um, uh, but but no, James, is, James, you broke a controller, didn't you? I, no, I smashed up a blind once. But that was, um, <laughs> that was with a right, controller. The blind. <laughs> a blind right. what? <laughs> <laughs> it's Jet Set Radio. Uh, it, was, it was ridiculous. To be fair, that yeah. is a frustrating game. People forget... Yeah. Like when the when the cops start showing up and you're just like, well, I was having a nice time and now this is just horrible. <laughs> never forget, never forget how frustrating that uh, that game is. Right, uh, so that's it for Advance Wars Two. What what about Street Fighter? You want to talk Street Fighter, do you? Yeah, I mean, I'm over the hump with that now um, because you know, like, I mean, last week. No, because last week, <laughs> James, I, I, what James is politely saying is that he beat the shit out of us last week. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, it was. It that whole stream was actually demoralising for all of us. <laughs> James absolutely smashed the shit out of us continuously, yeah. and yeah. and uh, to his credit, didn't gloat. Can no. you imagine what it'd be like if I was the one winning? Well, would there, there would be no worse. blinds left in the house. There would, there would be, <laughs> the sunlight would be like streaming well. through every window. <laughs> and it takes a fucking long time to put them back up as well, does it? <laughs> Um, yeah, so congratulations, James. You're really good at Street Fighter. Well done. What's next? What's next in your career? 
<laughs> well, no, I'm it's, it's the next. I think it's mostly because I've, I've spent quite a lot of time Take with your money and get off my property. <laughs> God, what was that? I mean, I've spent a lot of time with World Tour, and I did get stuck for a while because there was the whole like grindy like aspect of it. That's but the first then, time I've ever heard you say lodder. That's, what? that's weird. I spent a lot of time with it. That's really? A lot of time. Yeah, I didn't have you down as a lodder guy. I spent Keely, a lot of time. Keely's creeping in. <laughs> it is. Keely's creeping in. A lot, a lot of time. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about world title. exclusives. It's like soon. <laughs> Can you write Keely's creeping in as the episode title, please, Sean, now before we yeah. play it? <laughs> that's too good. <laughs> Go on, James. You spent a lot of time on it, have you? Yeah, I have, yeah. And I got past the bit where I was stuck because you have. To, it has got the grind, you know, where you have to go around level your character up enough so you can get further. But I did that, and it didn't. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't like that Final Fantasy thing of like this is going to take several hours of just walking around until you know until you've got enough you know XP right. or whatever. So that wasn't so bad. Um, but yeah, I've I've I think I'm in about how many? I'm about twelve chapters into it now, and. I don't think I'm seeing. I don't know. I think it's about fifteen. So, but then they seem to be of varying lengths as well. Like some of them are significantly longer than others. But also, they've just—it's just started doing the, this first thing whereby normally in most of the chapters they have like a little, you know, icon on the map as to where you go next, and you just go and do it, and it's fine. This now you've got to start doing detective work, which Ooh. is because uh, it's—they're not giving you any indication of where to go next. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, so uh, yeah. yeah it's mad for a Street Fighter game, isn't it? Yeah. I, need, I do need to play it. Um, it's uh, great. It's really good. It really is like the sort of Yakuza light, as in. But have you got to keep your character? Because it's such it's such a pain in the ass trying to create a character in that game that looks decent. Um, no, mine looks I terrible. just made mine look horrendous. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's easier. And but now, like my my character's got like a like a balzer on its head now. You oh, know, sorry? which is a what. Okay, a this is no. This is going to annoy. What's right, about sir. This what? is going to annoy a lot of people, a right? Word. But this also annoys me. Do you re- you know the Apprentice recently? He's taking what his glasses this? off. This is serious what shit, is this guys. Yeah, what serious, is about to happen? James, what's coming on? <laughs> Why you know, has your face got bright red? Did, did any of you see the last series of The Apprentice? No. I saw no. a bit of it. Yeah. Did what's... you see the Did you see the challenge where they had to sell what they called bow buns? The whole you, time. Yes, yeah, yeah, that yeah, rings a bell, that yeah. yeah I saw yeah. That, that really fucked me off because that's basically calling them bun buns because they're not bow buns. Bow no, means bun. It's and it's right, like it's and they're actually called balta. That's the name of them. <laughs> right. And so okay, okay, but no one fucking calls <laughs> No one them that says James that today. Yes they do. Like everyone no, in China says that. Yes, James, we're not, we're not in China. Is, James, <laughs> James do you know what this is? This I'm pretty sure. I know uh, this just isn't China. Last James. I checked. Don't we still pronounce them Let me look on not Google them... Maps quickly. But James, we still, not, we still don't have to Catford, call them bun buns. Catford. We don't have to call them bun buns. It's just wrong. James, this it's... is your Pokemon Pokemon thing. That's what this is. Look, I've, there are I've billions... Accepted, that, look, I've accepted is... no one else calls it Pokemon and I call it Pokemon. Don't. Like It'll be telling else. us how to pronounce Ryu next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's over a billion people calling them Balta. Not, uh, how not... many of them live over here, mate? Quite a lot, sorry, actually. Right. I'm sorry, I don't think I've ever sounded more like my dad then. No, you're you're technically that. correct, James, but in the current with the current audience, it is obstructive <laughs> to pronounce it properly. I don't give a fuck. No, no one, one knew anyone. what you meant when you said that word. I still don't even know how you spell that word that you said. Bouts, b- bouts, bouts. What was it? God, bouts. 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 Gate. That's a whole different game. <laughs> Anyway, I'm wearing one of those on my head in the game. Okay. It's like a gigantic right. one. And so... Do you go around to the other characters and try and tell them how to fucking pronounce it? Is no, but it's just... Oh, I just does my head in. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> that does your head in? Yes, because you basically one. go around saying bun bun and it just sounds stupid. <laughs> but it's like, it's like how chicken say... tikka masala doesn't exist in India, right? It was a meal invented by, by the British... But yeah. we don't. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Do you know what I mean? We just that's, all, that's not what we same. call it. It's not no, the same. Not. <laughs> I mean, it's not the same. <laughs> Similar. <laughs> also, uh, also, it was quite a nice way of getting another reaction out. Look how angry you are. Look at your face. No, I'm, I'm really fucking hot at the moment. I'm really <laughs> hot in this room. Right, you rest yourself, <laughs> don't you? It's because Lines, the sun comes in all day because there's no yeah. shade. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Okay. 
But yeah, so anyway, it's a good we should We should explain to Ali, James is actually like a professor in like modern Chinese history. It's not like, he's not just pulling this up. He's not just like a... You know, likes correcting people. Yeah, but Ellie's does got free world records, so that got free world records. Then. <laughs> so anyway, it's it, it's a good game, and it's I mean, it's the long. This is the longest I've ever played a Street Fighter game. I think since two, so it's uh, it's definitely worth going back to. I haven't touched any of the modes apart from World Tour because it's so great. But uh, I mean, Sean, have you you played any more of this at all? Uh, well, apart from as when I you backed know, James, you. I played about yeah. four, <laughs> played about four and a half hours of it. Um, it's weird because I, I went from that and I was like, oh, I want to try like the actual arcade mode just out of curiosity. And then it turns out that, yeah, where, where I am in World Tour mode, I still haven't got half the mechanics. Like half, you know, the, the other meters and stuff that appear on screen and have really interesting implications. So trying that and then going back to World Tour mode, I'm just like, oh, this is a bit... I'm just mashing buttons still and just battering low-level people. So that's I need what to I do. Just... <laughs> that's what I do that. on normal Street Fighter. Anyway. Is that not what Street Fighter is? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've really is. misunderstood the whole thing. You got all these people. I'm pretty sure it's going to come out. There's going to be like something on on a, a Eurogamer or something, a big article about mm. how all the people that are talking about frame counting and all of that. It's all bollocks. Some of the words on the game goes actually, yeah, that's all. Mate, they just made all that up. Actually, <laughs> what the best way to win is you just smash the yep. buttons as quick as you can. Yep. Just and uh, and 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 you've got as good a chance of winning as that guy at Evo. What was his name? The one that did all the parrying. What was that fellow's okay. name? Yeah, him. Better than better than that. Just smash the buttons, mate. Um, all right. So when you you have that done for next week, we are. Who are you talking to, me or Sean? Yeah, no, I'm talking to you. James. You, have that you mean what? Week? Finish finish the game. Yeah, yeah. Can we move uh, on to another game next week? Yeah. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> so sad. I know. I don't it's know why we still do this. I don't know why we still do it. <laughs> None of us are enjoying it anymore. It's the money, isn't it? That's all that's yeah. keeping us going. So when we at the start of the show we say please subscribe on Patreon, it's keeping the lights on. Literally, we mean in our hearts and minds. We don't. <laughs> this is so bleak. Well, when I do this show, I could show. do something else with this entire room. What the fuck That's would you do with that room, Sean? Um, paper up. Massive dog bed. <laughs> Why a massive one? Why would you need a massive one? Uh, then you could get a massive dog. Yeah, well, I've already got. I've got two medium dogs. You could stitch them together and have a bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice. All right, uh, Ellie, what have you been playing this week? Oh, I'm still playing, but I think it's nearly over. I've been playing um, a plague. I can't even remember the name of the game. That's how long I've been playing it. A Plague Tale Rats, or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> the second yeah. one. The Rats game. I just call it the Rats game now. Um, no, it's the first one. I've been playing the first one. Oh, right. um, and I've been playing it for what feels like... as uh, It feels like I started playing it when the game is actually set in 16th century France because <laughs> it's just gone on and on and on. Because I've not... So basically, the way our, with Scummy Mummies, our tour works is we sort of tour during term times in the school year. So I've not been able to stream as much in the last few months. Mm -hmm. So it's taking me an interminably long time to finish this game. It, it's nothing to do with the fact I'm quite shit at it <laughs> and I have to do all the stealth bits literally 70 or 80 times or anything like that it's 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 but it's a very badly designed game uh so <laughs> <laughs> there's that so i've been playing that and so i i um was trying to finish the boss battle the final boss i think on friday before last but i was throwing a hen night on the stream for weather Vanes, one of our communities having a civil partnership and I just wanted to get on with the inflatable men and the sort of jokes, really. So I gave up. <laughs> also, I got too drunk. But um, the, I'm, uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to try and, like, actually finish it. Because what's it's... The what's the final boss? Is it just, like, a massive rat? Uh, no, it's... Like a it's... Rat. It's a big... Well, I don't want to spoil it for people, but you'll be amazed to hear that rats are involved. I don't think that's a spoiler. <laughs> no, um, no, I think that's part of the game, isn't it? Uh, also, um, I don't think it's you don't you know I don't think anyone will be surprised to hear that the the final boss is like a really wizened old man who's got magical powers and can shoot things out of his. I mean, do you know what I mean? This is not rats. not new to it. He can control the rats. You can control the rats. You have Whoa. these things called rat nados rat wars. that come out like these little tornadoes of rats. <laughs> That's when I start to feel I, really vomitous when the rat nados. I genuinely don't appearing. know if you're making this up. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Rat nados. <laughs> it's a real thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> Um, there's so many rats. They they rise up out of the ground into rat. There's no other word for it. Rat. Maybe the Chinese have one. I don't know. Perhaps James can tell us. But they 
form these ratnados and then you have to like block it's horrible it's really horrible and it's such a because i love the game in terms of like some of it's so beautiful and mm. it's really nice but then fucking rats come along and ruin the party for everyone every time it's really you know there was there's have you played it have you played it i haven't no i do want so to I does, it, does it hold up because it's obviously the first one's a couple, you know a few years old now is it are you enjoying it Matt, I mean, Matt played it recently, didn't he? Well, not no, recently, he but... The sequel. He started the... He loved the first game. Mm. He loved it. And he went mm. on and on and on about it. Mm. And then the sequel was coming out. Oh, I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to play it. And I think he played it for about an hour and then just didn't go back to it. Uh, mm -hmm. I could be wrong. I'm sure he'll correct us next week if I am. But uh, I'm assuming the sequel's not... not <laughs> you're not jumping onto the sequel after this one anymore. Oh, look, I mean, I, I'm told it's even more ratty, which I'm not sure <laughs> I can cope with. So it was that was on like a whiteboard when they were pitching the sequel. Yeah, more yeah. Rat. Yeah, yeah. rat. More ratty. <laughs> to be honest, if I wasn't streaming it, I think I might have stopped playing it. But I've had... Uh, enjoying is, is a difficult word when you're talking about a game where in, in one level, for example, you have to feed a live pig to a load of rats so that um what? you can cross a barn like oh it's God. not nice but um i'm playing it. it was recommended by razors who's one of my community and he really likes it and he brilliantly he's basically because again i'm not that great at it so he's like a sort of live walkthrough for me <laughs> it's like you need to go left no you idiot no you silly <laughs> bitch just do that just do that and the poor man i'm sure he's smashed some blinds in his house from telling me what to do and me going what i don't know what you mean which there aren't any rocks there are oh yeah so <laughs> uh i think if we play the second one i think uh me and or razors well i don't think we'll survive it i certainly don't think our friendship will survive it so i think Probably, probably not. But that's what I, I was going to ask you guys. I need suggestions for something to play next that's good well, for streaming, that's preferably rat-free in an I ideal mean, world. I was going to suggest Dishonored, you know, because that's... No. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's some quality oh, rat work in it. No, that I want something nice and sort of pastoral. I was looking at Yonder, actually. That looks quite jolly. I don't know if you've played that. Yeah, oh, played yeah that. that's... Um, the cloud... Catcher Chronicles, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I played it back when the, <laughs> when the no. Switch came out. It was like one of the few <laughs> games on it. I was like, yeah, I'll buy that. Uh, I, I found it a bit dull. So I, you know, I had to review Mate, but that. But dull's what I need right now, man. <laughs> dull sounds great. I, I was supposed I... to review that game because I was sent the code for it. Um, this is when Spong was still going. And we were oh, still doing word. stuff for them. And it's like, yeah, they, they asked me to review it. And they sent me the code. And then I just never did it. And they never asked me for it. So I was really relieved. Because <laughs> it was... <laughs> yeah, okay, well, that's, that's one way of doing it. Can I have the code then? Because I don't want to buy it really tight. Uh, I mean, you could play the game that I'm playing at the moment. Planet of Lana. That's... Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Planet of Lana, Matt's, Matt spoke about it a few weeks back. And Sean correctly said last week why are you not playing planet of lana david this is right up your street and uh you couldn't be more right really it i could play this formula of video game forever i think the limbo side scrolling puzzle platforming thing where dark stuff happens in the background <laughs> um and I, I don't know what it is my brain just goes yeah this that's right that's <laughs> right calm down and just this is <laughs> nice isn't it and i'm like yeah it is mate yeah it is there's a puzzle here but it's not too hard so that i'm sitting there getting frustrated it's going go on you you know how to do this everyone knows how to do this so i do it and i go oh i'm i'm, I'm good i am <laughs> and, that's, and that's the formula that works for me you know inside brilliant uh this planet of lana you play as lana I think he plays Lana, or Lana's your sister. There's not a lot of English in it. Maybe James can help me out when, um, uh, maybe if you can watch me play and translate <laughs> for me, James. But, um, uh, yeah, you start off, as Matt said, you sort of running around um, this little town, local town on a, on a planet uh, with your sister, and then aliens come down and start killing everyone, and you have to try and find your sister again. That's it, basically. Um. And you, you get a little companion... And you work together to to get over puzzles and stuff. No, and that's no. enough for me. No, no, no. I don't no. want companions. I don't want. I hate that in games. I hate it when they give you an annoying sidekick who narrates things. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to play any yeah. games 
where you also yeah. I don't want any brother or sister shit because in a plague <laughs> right. tale you've got you you're the, oh, the girl fine. aren't you mainly yeah, the girl yeah, yeah. and then you're saving your little brother and his name is Hugo and my best friend Helen's son is called Hugo so oh, no. constantly I'm having to listen to someone going Hugo no the rats and it just makes me very <laughs> upset does he get eaten by rats? Is that, is that like a... Well, if you fuck up the game, as yeah. I <laughs> quite regularly yeah. do, then... No, yeah. I didn't mean, like, is that, like, the ending of the game? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's... It's, it's been an ending for me multiple times, because if you wander too far away, then he gets eaten by the rats, and it's right. just unpleasant, honestly. <laughs> well, this one, yeah, it is a little bit frustrating, because you've literally no. got to te- tell this little no. bug thing what to do as, as and when you're walking through it. And there's some really dark moments where you're going down into the caves... Um, Matt didn't warn me about the spider shit in it. Now no. I don't like any of that, but um, I managed to. It was just, it was right on the edge, basically. Okay. If it was a little bit more spidery, and it would have been off, and I would have never played it. But it was just <laughs> onto the point where I was almost being sick, but I wasn't being sick. So, so I'm really enjoying it. I am really enjoying it. I think I, I think his criticism bang on. I think it's a little bit repetitive. The, the puzzles don't seem to be doing much other than uh you know repeating the same sort of get from point a to point b not introducing any new mechanics or anything uh so far but it's okay i like i I like games like that and i i could play a game where you're wandering across beautiful landscapes in in a 2d uh setting and doing stupid little um uh, environmental puzzles yeah i'm all about that so uh i will finish that and you're absolutely right sean that should have been Ooh, on my list good i should actually play it myself i played it at egx uh, last year and we already had our eye on it from the trailers and stuff but yeah i should actually have a go since we yeah, keep I'll moaning right that there's kid. nothing on game pass at the moment this this did come out quite recently it's one, so. those, it's one of those things as well like so so um matt, matt mentioned there's a lot of stealth in it and there is but it's not stealth because uh, right. I, I hate stealth. I hate mm. stealth. It took me a long time of pretending that I liked stealth to finally admit that actually I fucking hate stealth. Like, I mm. hate it. Um, but, but the stealth in these sort of games is never actual stealth. It's more of a puzzle of what have I got to yeah. do to make that person look that way and then you mm-hmm. can get past, you know. Um, so you're not actually creeping around and looking at the little, the little cone of vision above people's heads or whatever and them going, huh? I'm walking over and you just crouch in some grass and they go, well, I guess they've gone now. You know, the, the, there's none of that. It's just um, uh, little puzzles that you have to do to try and get rid of the enemy and then you can move on. So that stuff's all cool. Um, I haven't written it down, but of course I'm still playing Zelda. And I don't know why. I guess because I fucking hate myself. I, <laughs> it and I, was, I was so happy that I was done with it and so ready to move on with my life. And then I was and, yeah. to, to, today I was like, I'm going to, go and find some more fucking shrines because that's the way my brain works now um and it's annoying as well because the shrine thing i want to i've decided that i want to get them all Mm. but you go i just wish they were all just shrines that you go to but the amount of ones that are like oh but it's not here actually you have to (laughs) go to fucking somewhere else and then it comes up from the ground and i'm like i don't want to i see i love that shit though (laughs) well good for you but are you trying to do all of them no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So the amount of times I've gone up and just going, oh, I can't be fucked with an extra little bit of puzzle. Just put the puzzle in a shrine. I'll go in there, get my thing, and then I'm done. Yeah, I, like I don't do goes. side quests. I'm against them in principle. Don't need them. It's a waste yeah. of everybody's time. It's bad game design. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I mean, the side quests of this as well. And I'm doing stupid side quests where it's like, now you've got this, which makes climbing way easier. But I've completed the game, so doing yeah, no, this side yeah. quest was completely pointless to me. Plus, it's only got like two armor, so I'm never gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm never gonna use it. Um, but I do like it when you do something special in one of those shrines, and then it goes scabba dabba doo bit bop, and I go, "Well, <laughs> that's it. I'm, I've done something good there. I'm happy with that." Why don't so you just I'm put some jazz on if that's all you want? <laughs> if that's what makes you happy, just put some shit jazz on. <laughs> I don't think I'm welcome in the world of jazz. Uh, no, I've not put Have you wronged just... them at some point? You... Well, I'm an idiot, am I? Oh. Like, I can't, I'll just walk in and go, are they, excuse me, are they supposed to be doing that? Yeah. <laughs> just go, can't, can't dance to this. Get out, man. <laughs> and I'll go, can't have it, okay. yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're not allowed to wear a polo shirt in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not made for the world of jazz, but maybe I need to start getting involved because there's nothing better 
دلش گبه دبه دو بده پپ That's the games I've been playing, Sean. Hello. Sean, you're the headline acts this week. Am I? have you been playing? Jesus. I think I made that joke um, last week. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been playing the demo of Bulwark. Bulwark? 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 Bow bun. Ne- Bulwark. Never, never entirely <laughs> sure on the pronunciation of that. Um, <laughs> That's what James wears on his head. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm just saying the joke again, but in a different way. Go on. <laughs> Um, so this is really interesting because it's so it, it's an evolving demo, right? It's it's part of Steam Next Fest, but I think the demo's been up for a little while. That sounds like marketing um, bollocks. Sure, if I've been well, honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and basically, it's so it, it's kind of a sequel to the Falconeer, which um, was on Game Pass. I played a bit of it, didn't really get on with it. It's like a it's like a combat flight sim where you're on a giant falcon and throw magic at people and stuff Kez the video yeah. game that sounds yeah, amazing basically. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, it's like po- post-apocalyptic Kez right all the world's like so basically it's like there's little <laughs> islands but everything's the sea it's Kez 2 um, and, uh, <laughs> return of the Kez yeah <laughs> Kez retribution yeah, I, like it, it was fine but I just I think it like uh, Kez redemption Kes to rights, <laughs> retribution. <laughs> Kes to rights. <laughs> so, um, and uh, yeah, but it, it came out um, like just not long after Kes I got my Series S. So all I'm doing now, I'm not listening to you. I'm just, just thinking Kes, Kes titles. That's so what I'm just trying to stop myself from doing. That's fine. That's fine. Fine. Go on. Um, Kes from a rose. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it, so it came out sort of as I got the Series S. So I was playing like tons of Kez stuff. Very go large. That's enough. That, <laughs> no more Kez. Come on, let's. Sorry. Uh, um, Just Kez. Sorry. <laughs> what's the game like, Sean? What's the game like? It's good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that was a, a flight sim, right? But it was set, like I say, set in this sort of sort of steampunky fantasy world and then for the sequel the developer who's one lad um has basically gone right i'm gonna make it a city builder and so it's like the same like engine and the same lore and story and everything but this time you're building settlements um is it still, still got like the birds and stuff in it the birds are still in it right okay. um, That's good. you don't play as them they're just sort of part of the tapestry um, right. it's, it's really interesting because it, it, there's like a bit of resource management but it's really light like it's you know th- it's not like oh well if you want to build this tower you need 30 wood 50 stone and blah, blah, blah. it's just like yeah it's linked to like the resources it needs so don't worry about it like and it's and it has this really sort of organic building system where you just it's like, like it basically tells you it's like just click around and it'll just build stuff um, like th- there is you know like there's certain things you have to build there's like docks and there's like say you're like setting up like trade routes and stuff to like ship materials around um and then you're building these like command towers and that's how you build your army up which then protects your little airship that you fly around to discover new places um but it's just really fun just clicking around and watching the game just like dynamically generate buildings as you go um like it's really interesting like how you can just do a couple of clicks and be like oh yeah there's cool there's a new tower i'm going to add three floors to that and then i'm going to add like some like foundations around it and then i'm going to add some walkways that like go from this tower to this tower it's a bit like um townscaper you know the one where you're just clicking and building stuff and there's no there's no game to it it's just like a very fun um like you know sort of construction thing like and it's quite sort of relaxing to do it it's kind of like that but there's a bit of a game to it um So yeah, I properly enjoyed it. And it's just and it's really cool because as I say, because it's this like evolving demo. So basically as the guy's working on it, he's updating the demo like constantly. Like I think it's had about three patches since I played it the other day. And like you load up the demo and the devs in it as like a character and he's like, Hello, I made this. Like here's you know, here's like some stuff to try out, like I hope you like it. Um, here's where you can give feedback. Stuff like that. It's just, yeah, it's just quite nice. Nice, just a really you say nice that, touch. but we all laughed at David Cage when he did it in Fahrenheit. Yeah, but that's we all said how silly that was. Terrible, though. And now we're saying it's a great idea, is it? Yeah, Double yeah, standards, yeah. Sean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think you'll find in France his name is actually pronounced Cage David. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Cage David. Um, he, um, he did, that was weird, though, wasn't it? Booting up Fahrenheit for the first time and him yep. coming out again. I'm going to tell you about my game. <laughs> 
It was. Have you seen the interview with him about that? I've interviewed him a couple of times, and he's a mm. very odd man. And I think, <laughs> I think he really hated me. Like he really hated me. Like I, just, I don't really know. Right. That is like, a win. He just probably did. it. Yeah. And you know, like, I really wanted away. after playing because I played Heavy Rain like far like ages and ages after it came out, <laughs> yeah. and, and and you see, and also like everyone that I'd heard talking about it was like, oh yeah, it's really you know when it came out, it's really great, it's really good. I played it, I thought it was awful, you know, like from and then I I had so many questions, and David had this idea he wanted to try and see if we could get me to like interview him to have a chat with we, him about <laughs> some of the game design get, decisions. Yeah. <laughs> It, yeah, we it, sent them an email. They stopped replying. Yeah, um, <laughs> that came to nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did get a response. We got a response saying mm. that we'd be interested. What sort of questions would you ask or whatever? Mm. And then uh, I can't remember if we sent some sample questions and they just didn't get back to us. But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, it was it's yeah. It, I, I remember him being interviewed about appearing at the start of Fahrenheit, and he said, "Well, we were talking about what what um, you know how we should introduce the concept of the game to the player." And then we were in a meeting, and one of the uh, developers said, why don't you be in it, David? <laughs> and I thought, that didn't happen. That nope. definitely <laughs> didn't <laughs> happen. You have made that up. You walked into a room and said, I'm going to be in the game. That's yeah. what yeah. happened there. I'm um, the best person uh, to do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't get that one past me, David. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's kind it? of like, it's, it's quite an insecure thing to do, isn't it? Like to be uh, like, right? I don't think people are going to understand this unless I am in the room with them, telling no, them how I, to play it. And see, I see it good. very differently. I don't think it's an insecure thing to do. I think it's, oh, a, it's a self-promotion thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I yeah. I really hate people who promote it or just into self-promotion. <laughs> um, arrogant, isn't it? Bragging arrogant. about their own achievements yeah. and things like that. I can't stand it myself. <laughs> uh, Sean, what else you got? Uh, the other game I've played is Generation Zero. Um, this has been out for five years. Have they been persecuted as much as the millennials? Or what, what's, the, what's, what's up with Generation <laughs> um, Zero? What have they done wrong that wasn't well, the boomers' fault? Go it's on. funny you should say that, Dave, because it is set in 1989 in Sweden. Oh, hello. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think I've, I think I talked about it years ago. But I played a bit of it because it landed on Game Pass, and I've always been intrigued by it because it's basically it, yeah. So it's uh, 1989 Sweden, and it's teenagers fighting giant robots. Oh, yeah. right? It's just like oh yeah, just some, some like, murderous robots just sort of showed up one day, and most people are gone, other than you and your mates, and you've picked up some guns and you're shooting back and. It's kind of terrifying because they're killer robots and you're just kids with guns and bicycles. That's like your your form of like it's an open world game and it's like yeah, there's a bike, go on fucking cycle around, like, <laughs> <let's>, <laughs> deal with that. Um, and it's yeah, so I, I played. If we, so, if we all did that in 1989, mate, we wouldn't have the problems we got. That's you know true. I mean? Yeah, it'd be, yeah, it'd be all right now. Um, all right. And <laughs> yeah, so as I say, a couple of years ago, I played a bit on my own. I was like, I think this might be really cool, but it is kind of. You can't like you totally can play it on your own, but it's clearly a co-op focused game, right. um, and yeah, and finally managed to wrangle friends of the show, Chris and Cami, into playing it with me the other night, and it was fucking great. Like it, it's it come back it, like sort of in my head, I sort of started thinking about it again because obviously Redfall was a bit of a disappointment, right? And I was yeah, like, yeah. You know, yeah, but here's a a four player co-op shooter that I've been meaning to play for years and is meant to be pretty good. Is it four um, player? It's up to four players, yeah. Okay. I believe. Yeah, I've said um, that several times. We, is that on is that on Xbox or as it's well? on yeah, it's on a, it's on Game Pass. Oh, shit, it's maybe I need to play this game. Then. Um it's like when like when you first start it, like it's in terms of like the interface and stuff, it is intentionally quite sort of bare bones, right? Because it's what's interesting is it shares it's made in the same engine as is it the Hunter? Their, their hunting sim, uh, Avalanche's hunting sim, that apparently right, secretly right. does really well, right? right? And you can tell because when you're fighting some of the robots, some like the first sort of robots you're fighting, they're like, they kind of look like dogs, right? Um, not, they don't actually look like dogs. The hunting, in the hunting game, you're hunting dogs. No, in the in this one, Generation Zero. Oh, right. I'm just oh, saying, yeah, saying, but but obviously, okay. they're, they're like four legged robots, right? And they kind of right. And you're like, oh, I can see where this has sort of shared DNA with the, the hunting game, right? Um, down to the fact that, like, what, like, so many of the the fights you have with these robots are like really long range, and you're a 
kid with a shitty rifle that you found in someone's house, right? And there's loads of these moments. Like we were initially, we were like, ah, oh, like the the feedback's not great sometimes when you're fighting. But then after a bit, you're like, that's kind of the point because you're all just like looking at like movement in bushes. And then someone's like, right, I'm going to fucking... Because as soon as you fire the shot, the robots know where you are. They start coming for you and shooting at you, right? So someone will, like, shoot, and then you're like, did you get him? Like, fuck, I don't know. Like, is it... Fuck, no, it's coming at us, right? <laughs> and there's all these little moments of uncertainty, and it works really well. Um, like I say, playing it on your own is really terrifying. With mates, that takes a lot of the fear away. But then it, it just creates so many of these moments where you're having to communicate with each other and just to figure out what the fuck is going on and, like, trying to... Like, like I say, when it, when it starts getting really hectic and, like, several of these robots are coming at you, like, you're constantly calling out, like, positions and, like, fuck, like, I think there's three of them. And then someone's like, no, I've just seen a fourth one. And you're, like, constantly sort of talking to each other. And it gets, and it's, it's like, it's hard, but it, it, was, it was never, like, we never had situations where it was like, oh, well, we're all fucking dead now. It was like, we were always sort of down to the wire and then just about pulled it back. And then we were like, fuck, man, that was really stressful, but quite exhilarating. Um, yeah, we're horrific. having a great time with it. Um, it's like I say, in terms of like you know interface and stuff, shows its age a bit. Um, but once you you get through that, yeah, we really enjoyed it. I, especially like I say, if you were looking forward to playing something like Redfall, like definitely check this out. I will definitely put that on my list. Definitely cool. put that on my list. Cool. And that was, can I say, that was about 60% Keely. That was quite good. You're 60%. <laughs> I mean, that's just, yeah, that's, to I'll, I'll take that. Sounding authentically enthusiastic. Well done. <laughs> yeah, well, you've, been sta- you've been taking the, st- uh, the Keely school of uh, <laughs> talking about games. I've been signed up for it. He's got a course on um, shit. What's the one? Skillshare. He's got a Skillshare. course on Skillshare. You, know that. you get vouchers so that, for Doritos. would have worked if I'd just actually nailed the delivery. <laughs> Doritos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's what we've been playing this week. Let's get on to questions and then wrap this one up because I am so insanely hot at this point now. Uh, I'm I all right. It's not too bad here tonight. Oh, good, good, good for you, Sean. Here. Good for you. It is good for me. <laughs> I had a jumper on earlier. I mean, did you? Bloody yeah. Hell. What? It's delightful. What's going on in <laughs> where you are? Like, in Catford, the not, North Pole. Not, that far from me. <laughs> no, I do feel the cold. I, just, I, was, I was wearing my uh, Expedition Everest. Did I mention that I actually have got also the world record for the highest stand-up comedy gig uh, on land, which I did at I Mount know. Everest? Uh, well, there you go. We'll just leave that. We'll just leave that there. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Questions. questions. If you're going to send us a question, go to tcgs.co forward slash dear tcgs. I didn't say that in the feedback bit, Dave. Oh, don't worry about still it. Send oh, it. They'll Matt, still send the, Matt, that angry back. feedback. Love will find a way. <laughs> Philip with an F says, hello. Uh, first time, long time, etc. Uh, I was really interested in the parenting chat and advice last week. As a father of two boys, an incredibly lively three-year-old and a four-month-old baby, finding time to play games is obviously difficult. A uh, bit of a two-part question then. A, at what point after the kids' toddler years did you manage to get a bit more consistent gaming time back? And B, I assume it was you that introduced your kids to games. Can you remember what their very first games were and at what age? How did your partners feel about them showing an interest in the hobby? Thanks so much for putting out an excellent show every single week. There's a lot to unpack here, isn't there? Yeah. In, uh, in, terms, of, in terms of games, the first, the first game that Rachel played was Super Mario 3D World. Nice. And she was about four or five years old, I think. Mm. And Chen was cool with it. She didn't mind. Joe you know, was like, just happy that I was shutting up for five minutes. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, wow, it's brilliant. They could just, and, yeah. T- t- Harry was like about three when he started playing. He played Forza Horizon and uh, the Mario 3D World. Mm. But all he was doing was making Luigi jump off. To I was going to say, like, yeah, could they actually play? Because that was the <laughs> thing, isn't yeah. it? I was like, yeah, yeah, my kid plays Minecraft. I'm like, yeah, do they, though? <laughs> I bet they're um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, I mean, I've mentioned before, like, yeah, I like we've basically had to start pretending that games don't exist for a bit because Isaac, like, just gets way too hyper on them. Like, you know, he said, like, oh, it shuts the kids up. Like, Isaac just gets really shouty whenever he plays stuff after a bit. Oh, really? Um, so, yeah, we're kind of just having some time away from them. Um, I think the first thing he actually played himself was that fucking Paw Patrol one, which 
Oh. You know, oh, I said well. I said at the time like it's not good, but it was the first thing he could play because I, I it was disagree. actually designed for children, <laughs> right? He didn't have to read anything, and all the inputs were really simple. And yeah. it's the first thing I could just leave him to it, and he would get on with it. It's like you know, Ryder way, needs to nice. shut the fuck up in that game a little bit though, because every yeah. single menu I was just like story mode, <laughs> multiplayer. It's like, that's annoyingly, that's why it works. <laughs> but there's no yeah, there's yeah. no option to like turn the dialogue on. Yeah. You know? I really stupidly, I tried to do it like chronologically. So I tried to show them like the classics, like the original, oh, yeah. like SNES, Mario and like um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and stuff. And, and he was just like, this is dog shit. Man. This is just <laughs> absolutely zit. I think it actually put him off video games for like two years. <laughs> But um, but now I realise that that's like going. All oh, right, you need to learn about music. Let's like listen to Green Sleeves. Don't play them Green Sleeves. Play that they want Stormzy. Do you Watch know what Citizen I mean? Kane. Like there's quite quite a lot has <laughs> happened. Yeah, don't do Could that. Could you imagine doing don't. it in real time though? When they're born and they first go, <laughs> I want to play a video game. When you say Pong, and then yeah. and then well, this is boring. Don't worry. In twenty years, you get Goldeneye. No, I love that when that comes out. <laughs> yeah, and then um, he think for his his friends he discovered yeah Fortnite and then that was that was it and then you know and then it's all. But that's my big son. He's twelve. The little one who's eight. He just doesn't care about any of it. He really? doesn't. He's never picked up a controller. He's oh, obviously we really? play games a lot, mm-hmm. and he's got. He's just like no, that looks shit. Is that uh, <laughs> is that like sad or reassuring? Oh, that's like, good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I, yeah, it's not sad in that they've got one who likes them. Do you know what I mean? Mm, so there's yeah. always someone to play with. Mm. Um, but I think, and he he is into other stuff. He really likes Marvel. That's his thing. Mm. So he likes drawing comic books and playing with his things. Okay. And, you know, he, he, he's into all that. So, but yeah, even the Marvel video games, he's like, yeah. Why would you want to do that? That looks like effort. And then I'm like, oh, no, you're right. You have got a point. It is quite, I mean, you'd be bang on if you, if you were playing the, the Avengers game. Because Charlie was the same. He's like, we loaded the Avengers game up. And I said, you'll like this, Charlie. Because Char- my, my youngest, he's four. And he's into his Marvel stuff. And he loves the Hulk. Hulk is like everything to him. And we, I said, well, let's we'll get the Avengers game. Go on, it's on Game Pass. And you get to play as the Hulk. And he was like, yeah, excellent. And you load it up, and you go, come on then, I want to be the Hulk. Well, no, there's like some weird tutorials, and apparently you've got to level <sighs> one of these characters first. up going, yeah. to get into this area. And Enforced when stealth section. It, it was you've got, you got about 20 hours, 20 hours, then you can play as the Hulk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not that far away, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like yeah. literally, it's about two hours in, isn't it, before you get the Hulk? <laughs> yeah, 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 it took a while to get there. Um, uh, yeah, but, but in terms of uh, what age does it get easy to play games? I mean, it dep- obviously every child's different. It is mm. all different. But if I was forced to say at age, probably five or six is when they become yeah. a little bit more independent mm-hmm. and and things change a little bit. It's one yeah. thing like well sleeping it's... patterns start to say, stabilize yeah, a bit. Well it becomes a bit That's easier. That's the one, yeah. That but then it's a window you see enjoy that window because then yeah, when yeah. they get to like 10 then you're just fighting about whose turn it is on the <laughs> I want to play <laughs> Fortnite but I want to play the raps game it's just all of that you know this is I was going to say because is... it also depends on the sort of thing you're into right because if you're if you're into games that are perfectly fine for a child to watch yeah that makes life a lot easier but if you you know like you want to play Call or you of could Duty, just not give a shit yeah, that's where the there is that. Going down. No, so, sometimes like when, when Pete's been out and I've been playing like Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the stream, mm. and like he's appeared through this doorway like a sort of ghost of a Victorian <laughs> orphan child, <laughs> just like <gasps> watching me hack some monk's head off, and he's just like, Mom! <laughs> so you've got to watch what it. What mummy likes to do when you're yeah. <laughs> right. um, yeah, no, uh, the, the the other thing that you don't uh, recognise until it happens either is that nine-year-olds don't like to go to bed the same time as their four-year-old brothers mm, you know yeah. what I mean? yeah. so so that you say that window of your you, your evening it, it once charlie started to go to bed regularly at like seven o'clock or whatever now harry's pushing it and so we're losing more and more out yeah. of our evening you wait wait until like because rachel's 13 and yeah. she absolutely will not go to bed before like Asha does. Like ten He's o'clock, 10. eleven o'clock, or something. Yeah, and yeah, she yeah. and it's just it's ridiculous. It's like yeah. please, just go to bed now. <laughs> You've got to get up at like six tomorrow. You you're not. Cause yeah. it, are your kids are your kids happy to just hang out in their own rooms? 
Harry is, Isaac isn't. Charlie is not. See, yeah, no. Ra- Rachel does now because she's 13 and that's where she wants to be, like right. with the curtains closed, listening to music <laughs> or whatever. Right. But Asher, no, he just he's always in the front room, like mm. doing stuff. He's he's not interested. Joe in, completely but. shut me up the other day when I said that. I said when mm. I was a kid, I remember having like a TV in my room and just playing. Like they've got a TV in their room. Uh, mm. I just remember like, playing video, all my video games on there. I would spend mm. hours in my own bedroom just playing games. And she said, yeah, but did your mum and dad, dad have like a 50-inch H, like a 4K <laughs> TV in their front room at the time? I went, no. Went, well, that's that then, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't want to play in his little tiny little telly in his room. He wants to play on a big one in the front room. So we're yeah. kind of screwed at the moment, especially when he's talking to his mates online. Because I do, um, you know, everyone's that? got their own language or whatever. But yeah. when he was, he calls everyone bra, right? Because that's what yeah. everyone does, right? Yeah. And he said it to Charlie once. And I went, don't call your brother bra. Well, I suppose technically you can call him bra, but you don't. <laughs> do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I was, Isaac was watching, because you know, I said in the WhatsApp group, he's getting into like Minecraft YouTube stuff. And um, there was one he was watching, and it was just they were all just fucking shouting constantly. Yeah. And I got got about ten minutes in, and I was just like, right, Isaac, it's fine if you enjoy this and watch whatever you want within reason. But I just said, just so you know, if I was like this when I was playing with my friends, if I was shouting like this, they would think I was really annoying, and they would tell me to leave. And it was just like, oh yeah. Which, which we did that time. <laughs> <laughs> it has happened. Um, you know, it's just like, I just don't want him to think, like, oh yeah, this is a normal way to behave online because I know that's such a slippery slope. But I just don't want him right. shouting his fucking head off. Right, totally. Cool. But you do realise that we're being old now. That's what yes. being old is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your parents did the same thing about, like, we're watching it, you know, Saved by the Bell. What are you watching this crap for? Turn this off. <laughs> this is this. Like, and you go, oh yeah, you're doing that, but with, I don't know. Uh, Dan TDM or whatever now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like it's we've we've fallen into that gap, that that, that trap of turning into the parent that says, "Nah, this is an entertainment." And it it sucks, doesn't it? Because especially like because he's getting to the age where he can t- like, like he can articulate his feelings about things he's seen. Right. I'm but then, but that. then he will choose to watch just pure shit. <laughs> and you're just like, yeah. I know you're better than this. Like, <laughs> but like you say, dad- it's pointless to. Yeah. I mean, like, Asher like, just acknowledges that. that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'll say to him, like, what are you doing? And he's just like, I'm watching trash on YouTube. And it's like... <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, but it, it stings because there is so much, like, really good <laughs> kids telly now. And you're just like, look, you can, and you can just watch... You could watch all of Avatar Last Airbender if you wanted to. I had to put up with, like, if I, there was a show I wanted. And you get to watch one episode a week. Oh, we, we have a whole bit in our stage show about, you know, Teletubbies and all this lovely pastel land and Willie yeah. and Tig. We had Grain Chill. We had children doing heroin at tea time. Yeah, yeah. That was tea time entertainment. Yeah, like, yeah. it's different. Yeah. And I, I just, I, it, when we got to five o'clock and I went, okay, no more, no more kids telly mm. now. And you go, what? Yeah, that's done. <laughs> it's done. Yeah, at least you had, had neighbours after that. You know, it wasn't so... <laughs> I think it was Alice James was talking about on the show just with John Robbins he mentions that like um his wife is he like mentioned to their like four year old daughter that the you know there used to only be like an hour and a half of kids programmes every day and she just burst out crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh right, next. Mm. Sam Solomon uh says quick question here, is Red Dead Redemption two simply an eighteen certificate adaptation of Toy Story? You know, with the old cowboy ways being replaced. <laughs> Question yeah, mark. Yeah, you've absolutely nailed it, Sam. And thanks I mean, for sharing I don't know, because I don't feel like Woody shares the same fate as Arthur Morgan. He doesn't contract uh, a deadly disease. Spoilers. No, no, he doesn't. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> uh, we, we, well, they've just announced Toy Story 5, and maybe that's the plot for that. <laughs> Are they really? Yeah, they yeah Toy Story 5 is coming. But how many times have we gone, well, I don't need a fur one? Oh, no, it was brilliant. Ah, they didn't need a full one, but that was also brilliant. So what can you do? They're going to keep doing them, aren't they? And I'm all for it. <laughs> I'll still be there trying, to, trying not to cry out sheer nostalgia for when Woody rolls on screen like the fucking knobhead he is. I, um, uh, my favourite 
thing about Toy Story is the sort of reevaluation of the you know the kid next door who's like torturing all the toys and making videos and stuff. Right. Because everyone's just like, yeah, but he doesn't know they're alive. Of course he doesn't. <laughs> they're not supposed to be. He's just yeah. making funny videos. Like leave, yes, like just fucking leave him to it. He was. He doesn't know like, the real. with firearms though, was not he? So I did he have a gun? Much. I don't remember that bit. Oh, not firearms. That's guns, isn't it? I mean, yeah. just a, well, yeah, he had a firework. Next question. Okay. Uh, Maria Mendieta says, Dear TCGS codenamed Steam, Shuei Yoshida's analogy comparing the film and gaming industry might be laboured, at least the way it was presented during last week's news segment, but it made me think. Usually it's games, especially the cinematic kind, that try to emulate movies, but what do you think the film industry could learn from its gaming counterpart? Keep up the impeccable work. Uh... Oh, well, just make sure you get up to 60 frames, films. Yeah? Yeah, well, I don't know. Frames, Have you seen it? Get the ray tracing going. Have you se- what was that fucking Will Smith film where they did it in 60 frames? Have you seen it? Was it Wiki Wiki Wild Wild West? It wasn't. I've, se- I've, I've seen clips of it, and you just like, this just looks like it was shot on someone's phone. <laughs> well, they, <laughs> look, they did that with The Hobbit as well, didn't they? Like, oh, when that right, was first yeah, released, yeah, yeah. that was also, yeah, yeah 60 frames. Um, it was it's right. just, well, have a look. Then, Sean. Look. Come up with a better one then, mate. Come on. What you got? What a film? No, a better f- thing that the films should nick from video games. Um, Can't do it, can you, mate? Double jumps. Not enough double <laughs> jumps in the film. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. Um, Actually, that does work. That does work. Imagine, that, imagine that was in a film where just someone just, it just never mentioned it. Well, not, like a, not even an action film, like a rom-com or something. And at some point, <laughs> what if someone, just someone needs point. to climb over something and then just jump and then whoop, jump again. little somersault. Just it's never ones. mentioned again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd mm. love that. Yeah. Right, we'll get get right in that we'll get right in that script. Yeah, I'll write that. I'll write that. I'm not that out. <laughs> Can I be in it? Yeah, you're the main character. <laughs> Cheers, man. That's right. Appreciate that. Uh, anyone else <laughs> for this one? <laughs> no, I, I, you know, most films are better than most games. Let's just be honest about it. <laughs> it's the truth. When are we finally going to admit it? <laughs> so I thought, I thought for like admit? skipping skipping cutscenes, but it doesn't really work, does it? Oh man, it's <laughs> so. I, I showed Harry uh, Truman show the other night, and he I surprisingly adored it. I thought he was going to think, oh, it's a bit boring or whatever. Um, but it is one of the best... Like, I love that film so much. But I did the worst thing I could possibly do to him after that. When he went to bed after watching Truman show, I went, night, mate, night, mate. I turned the light off, and I just went, is that all right? Yeah, okay, all right. As I was walking down the hall. <laughs> 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 I had to go back oh, in and go, I was joking, I was joking, you're not in a TV show, it's fine, it's absolutely, he's sitting there with his eyes wide open, <laughs> looking for cameras, um, yeah, good film, uh, have we got one more? Uh, I was going to do two more, one of them should be short, go on then, uh, this is the long one, sorry, Dave says, hello gents. <laughs> Uh, now that everyone's starting to finish Zelda, the obvious question is what will the next one be like? came up briefly last episode, but I'd love to hear everyone have a proper guess, if only so we can find out what James's stab at the title will be. Um, for what it's worth, here's mine. I reckon they'll go back to the well and do another game with Parallel Worlds. A Link to the Past, Ocarina, Twilight and Link Between Worlds all feature them. It's clearly a concept that resonates with the devs. Um, I th- why I think they'll go back again is that the next console will almost certainly have an SSD, and therefore be the first time they can do the world switching in 3D with the same kind of immediacy as A Link to, uh, a link to the Past and Between Worlds. My second broader guess is that they'll make a smaller, more traditional Zelda while they cook the next big one up. They could, make, uh, they could remake uh, the Oracles games or Minish Cap like they did with Link's Awakening, and maybe they will, but it wouldn't be surprised if they made something new. Uh, Nintendo likes to bifurcate their series into main ones and smaller scale experimentations, e.g. Mario Wonder or indeed the DS Zeldas. Uh, cheers all and hello from the Strava group. Real supportive bunch of people. Um, uh, uh, I'm cool. sick of how supportive you lot are. Um, <laughs> I uh, mainly because I, d- I don't get off my ass or do anything. Um, no, me either. Yeah, I, uh, that would give them another excuse to use that fucking map again, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I just hope they don't do this because they've done it so many times. I, I, not if it's like a you know light and dark oh. world thing. It's you know. Well, the, it feels you very know played the main out. part of this question, James. You, if you're going to name the next Zelda game, what's it called? Come on, come on. So I, I don't know why, but I'm thinking Owl in my head. My uh, see, I had what, Falcon. Just... I was really? like, this is Falcon's good. <laughs> the Legend of what? Zelda Kes Edition again, just yeah, coming yeah, yeah, back yeah. to <laughs> I think, the story I think of one man be... and his bird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it'd be the Legend of Zelda: The Crescent Owl. 
Oh. <laughs> That's good. I like that. And you like get that to a turn lot. into the owl every five minutes. Yeah, that. yeah. It'd be something like that, yeah. <laughs> right, and right. it turns out that you were that owl from... Oh, oh, I don't want to say yeah, the game. From another dimension or Yeah, o from Ocarina of Time. From, from Ocarina of Time. O from Ocarina. Ocarina. Ocarina of Time. That's not how the Chinese didn't pronounce oh, it. Oh, for it? fuck's sake. <laughs> Whatever, that game. <laughs> Zelda 64. There you go, that one. Zelda 64. Zelda 64. <laughs> fucking hell. Um, I was wondering I if they'd do a uh, Soul Reaver. So that like, literally, like, first cutscene, Link gets fucking killed. And then there's, like, a right. whole bit of the game where he's dead Link and he's, like, a ghost and you're in spirit world. And then, sort of, a bit later on, it's like, oh, you actually you can transfer between the two. Which, by the way, did not need an SSD. They did that shit on the PlayStation 1. It was incredible. Titanfall 2, that was on the Xbox 360 and you could, oh yeah. no, that was the yeah, Xbox yeah, yeah. 1, wasn't it? And you could flip yeah. between all that stuff. Yeah. No, I reckon they should go back to the Zelda 2 thing and just, you know, do a side-scroll. Side-scroller, <laughs> everyone loves that. Side-scrolling platform <laughs> thing <laughs> out of nowhere. I'll play that. You'd play that. I'd play have that. No choice. I have no choice. You can't not no. play the new Zelda game when you do a fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Unfortunately. Okay. MD Kraboff says, what's your favourite family recipe? What does that mean? Family, like a, a recipe that's hand, like a food recipe that's handed down <laughs> through your family. Did they actually get handed down? I thought that was bollocks. I mean, we don't have any, but then <laughs> my, my parents my parents can't really cook. Um, yeah, but then, not, obviously, like, right, my right. wife like knows loads of like Iranian dishes because of her, her dad, so... I suppose that. My dad that taught counts. me to don't fill up the don't fill up the pot noodle all the way to the line. Leave it a little <laughs> bit short because it's more flavoursome. That's the good tip, Matt. That. That's you very good. Yeah. Uh, is fucking Omec, right. Do, they? do you know what? I love to meet someone that gets a pot noodle but doesn't use the whole sachet. Just uses some of it. What? Who would do that, that? I bet there's someone out there that does no. that. Oh no, I don't like it all in. I have oh, half no. a Or like someone else makes it for them. They like take one bit and they're just like. <laughs> What are they going to do with the other half of the sachet? That's a waste. There's a cost of yeah, living crisis. You're going to snort it. What are you going to do? It's disgraceful. Just wrap it up and put it in the fridge. One, yeah, you know? can say, yeah, yeah. Little, make a little broth with it. Just for. Yeah. Yeah. Just need fancy a warm drink. You've got no bovril left. Use half a sachet of. Pot I'll, I'll use I'll use this for the next uh, the rest of it for the next pot noodle. Yeah, yeah, but that comes with a sachet, and they go, I know, and open a cupboard, and loads <laughs> of sachet of soy sauce <laughs> from various pot noodles come streaming out. Um, no, I don't, don't do the family recipe thing. Ellie, have you, has anything been handed down to you? Well, again, I was, I was just thinking of my my mum is a good cook actually, but yeah, I, my, my dad taught me about the Frey Bentos pie, which has saved oh, yeah. my life on yeah. many an occasion, especially when I was a student. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, nothing, you know, says you're doing well in life than eating meat out of a tin. I always think <laughs> that's how you know you, you really made it. Uh, so love, love a Frey Bentos pie. I've definitely brought this up on the show before. Are you aware of the Sean Bean thing? No. When he was filming Sharp, I forget what country he was in, but apparently he was anxious about local cuisine and he just ordered like two crates of Frey Bentos pies to live off <laughs> for the duration of the filming. <gasps> That's amazing. Specifically Frey Bentos. Yeah, yeah, yeah so he, was, he was on some chat show. He was like, yeah, they were, they were, yeah Frey, Frey Bentos pies. <laughs> <laughs> he was the They're the leader. best. <laughs> and my husband had never had one. And then oh, yeah. Helen, my friend, gave it when I was doing the twenty-four hour, um, well, Guinness World Record for Power Simulator. I don't know if I've mentioned oh, it. Yeah. No, um, no, no. she got me. She bought me a Frey Bentos pie to keep me going. Nice. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I was like, and I didn't eat it on stream, but I cooked it. And then Pete, my husband, had never had it. And then he was like, I split it into three for me and Charlie, my son. And me and Charlie were like, oh, this is lovely. And he was like. This is just dog food. This is dog food <laughs> with a pastry lid. And I was like, yeah. what's your point? It's full of marrow bone goodness. It's really yeah. nice. So, yeah, that's Ooh, probably our family recipe. Da. What do you want, real meat? Yeah, for goodness sake. Yeah, it won't keep long, will it? won't keep, though, if it's not in a tin. Uh, and that's it for questions. That's it for the pod. Uh, James, do you want to do the socials this week? Not really, um, but well, I will. Have to. Um, okay, so this is Shawn, the professionalism. You... This is right up. This is where James shines, right? Sean, <laughs> are you streaming on Thursday? Brilliant. No, we're doing. We're going to Sunderland. Oh on shit! Friday. Yeah, we are, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we're 
Then why does it still say Friday that I'm playing Hitman? Because, the, because no one edited last it. Last week, I assume, and you haven't yeah. updated it. That'll be why. Yeah. So yeah, no no streams this week because we're doing that. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is this is amazing. <laughs> but it's it's like Keely is in the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're not doing that, but. We did a Patreon show recently, right? Yep. That's that's what out. You, mean, right? you were you were on it. You were there. <laughs> <laughs> that's that James. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to support us on Patreon, that would be nice. And so if you go to is it Patreon. dot com slash TCGS or TCGS Co. What what is it now? TCGS. TCGS, right? And then we've also got a website which is TCGS. dot co. Um, and then also if you. If you watch us on Twitch, you can also subscribe to us using your Twitch. Oh, I don't want to do that. It's stupid, isn't it? It's... No, you don't, it's not you don't want to do it. You've just forgotten the details. <laughs> well, no, if, you, if you've got Amazon Prime, then you've got Twitch Prime. That's what Matt always says. Yeah. And so if Twitch you could... Twitch Prime Gaming now. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. And then if you can subscribe to us using that, that would be very nice. Thank you. I've stoned out. I don't know what's happening anymore. Yeah. Are we still recording? <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> It's We've been doing this for 24 but... hours and 6 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your your stream seemed like a, a walk in the park compared to two hours of this. Yeah. Ellie Gibson, thank you so much for joining us this week. It's been such a... Uh, a, a it's been brilliant to have you on. Thank you oh, so I've much, had guys. such a lovely time. Thank you very much. Uh, it's lovely to have some, some games bants. Uh, it's been... <laughs> It really is good banter, isn't it? It's, it's really it's top top bants. It's it's there's a lot of good bants on here, you guys. As, as See, oh, the man Jack himself would say, my, he's just yeah. <laughs> he's just outside there in his pants. Actually, <laughs> that was him earlier. He likes to keep a low profile when he's around here because you know. But uh, where yeah. can people find more from you? Where do you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to send people? Um, <laughs> other than the the Guinness Book of Records. Other than the Guinness Book of Records. Um, oh, if you go, well, if you go, if you're on Twitch, I'm at Ellie Gibson Games uh, on Twitch because when I started doing it, I didn't really understand it. <laughs> That's why the name <laughs> says cool the word games in the title because yeah. otherwise people might be confused. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> it's Ellie Gibson Games I'm streaming tomorrow night, uh, and then uh, I'm Ellie Gibson on Twitter and uh, scummymummies.com. I'm in a double actor we have a podcast we've got a live comedy show come and see it if you like i don't mind it's up to you i'm not your mum <laughs> <laughs> they are pick, i feel like i'm feeding off your energy now james yeah, I feel like, yeah, no, that is it that's what he brings you down to his level <laughs> he's, like, he's like the coronavirus that boy uh, <laughs> unless i am your mum if my son's watching this you're not allowed to come and see the show because it's 18s only and it's a lot about you you'll be upset <laughs> <laughs> we will catch you next week thank you so much for living it and uh there'll be more gaming chat next week we might do a special one where we yeah we're not sure what the plan is we don't know what the plan is yet but we'll we'll have something out on your podcast feed goodbye everybody we love you thanks for having us bye